Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome along back to Online Darts. And here we go for Players' Championship number eight. It's about to get underway in Leicester. How is everyone this morning? I'm just setting everything up um, as always. Come and say hi in the chat room. Uh, we need to Raymond, uh, Aqua, Stephen, and of course, uh, ASG is in. How are we doing, everyone? Let me just sort things out, get everything in place where it needs to be. Um, but how is everyone? Hope you've had a good Tuesday morning so far. And let's get ready to rock and roll. What's everyone been up to? Actually, no. Mm. Let me plug that in. Yeah, all right. How's that? Should be better. But all good, everyone. Um right, let's let's have a look. People asking who people have got and and things like that. So let's have a look. Um someone asked for Graham Usher. Doesn't look as if Graham Usher is playing today. Um, how are we doing, everyone? Again, comments are in the chat room. Let's just see if. Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, Craig, he's not coming up on. Um, Dark Connect. When you do a name search, there's nothing there. Let's have a look at the board calls a minute. That might be... Oh, no, he is there. Um, for some reason, he's not coming up on the um, other side yet because it's not moved across. Um, he has got Aaron Monk. Um, he's on the board call, but they're, where they're not live yet, it's not showing the other side. That's my fault. Um, how are we doing, Jamie? Hope you are good. Um, afternoon, Dell. Great to have Juanita in, as always. Just waiting for everything to kick off and get going. Um, God will be joining us later. Uh, how are we doing, Derek? Hope you're good. Um, good stuff, Aqua. Shout out to Benjamin, second place. Nice, good stuff. Uh, once the games get going, I literally just need a couple of minutes just to... Make sure everything's cropped and in position. How are we doing, Jim? Hope you are good. Uh, Aqua says, I think Littler will win today. Ah, look, he's playing really well. Um, I'm going to go. Let me check his board first. I'm going Gary Anderson. Um, tough looking board though, Roman Van Barnaby, Matt Campbell, the other class and Robbie Knops, Gary Anderson, Hope I Pooh, Aidan Kirk and Cameron Menzies. Uh, 
Uh, it's not been bad, really. It's not been bad at all. Um, thank you very much for asking. Uh, I thought The Rock was brilliant last night. The way he played the crowd and everything was sensational. Of course you do, Teresa. Double for Dolly. Um, board 13. Let's have a look. Luke Littler, Christian Perez, Nathan Rafferty, Vincent Vandervoort, Damon Hatter, Scott Williams, Kevin Dutes, and Brett Clayden. Yes. I absolutely agree with that one. Uh, how are we doing, David? Hope you are good, my friend. Anderson. Uh, Gary didn't play badly yesterday, even though he he lost. Benjamin Drew Ruse on the same board as MVG again. Doesn't fight. Sorry, he had Gary Anderson yesterday. He's on the MVG board today. Um, where is Garen Price has a Lucas Vanek. Johnny Clayton, Simon Whitlock in round one. That's a bit ouch. Um, do I think Anderson is still good enough? To, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's been spells of absolute genius this year from him. Um, yeah. How are we doing now? Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, if you haven't yet, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe as well. We're trying to get to 36k as quick as possible. Um, all right, Liam, I am in Portsmouth for Champions Week. Um, I don't think I'm there all week, but I'm certainly directing the final. Uh, I know that. I think I think I'm there early on in the week. I think I'm there Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday potentially. Um, so yes, I will be there for Champions Week. Uh, morning, Mike. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, from Florida. Um, our pleasure, mate. Our pleasure. Keeping you up to date with everything that is going on. Uh, yeah, it was funny. He'll he'll be back. Uh, yeah, Gob's, Gob's calling today, but he'll be on after he gets back. Um, how many nines? I'm going two nines today. How are we doing, Jim? Afternoon, Big John. Hope you are good, my friend. Always good to have the Joker in the house. Do I still think Prime MVG would win 20 plus? Yeah, I do. Um, just, he, he was incredible. But he, he can still get back to that level. He's got work to do. Um, it's not, we're not sugarcoating that. But, yeah, I think he can. Just waiting for all the action to get underway. Um, he says it's okay, not perfect, but I, I think I think there's an issue there. I think he's just learning to play with it. The the way the schedule is right now, there is nowhere to have a gap. Uh, how are you doing, Felix? Hope you're good. Uh, good afternoon from Germany. How are we doing? Our global audience is in today, which is fabulous to see. Oh, we've got pictures on the first stream board. Games are underway. Right, if you give me 
<coughs> a second just to get some stuff cropped in, everyone. There's the live scores for you. Now let me sort of feature game. Um, but also, we need to do this. The Luke alarm has sounded. And follow hot off the bat. Don't worry, we've not forgotten. Alarm sounding all over the place. Right, now let me just chop the feature game for you as well. Two seconds, everyone. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. See the name, see the score. Job done on that one. Let's put that on. Let's put that there. And as if by magic, we have scores, everyone. How do we are? We are now cooking, everyone. We are ready to rock and roll as always. Right, we've got a feature game. We've got the scores on. Let's do this. Uh, Barney levels up with Matt Campbell. That one's one apiece. Luke Woodhouse averaging 107. It's three and up against Michele Toretta. Uh, Martin Schindler tuning up on Callum Ridge. Martin Durat level with Ryan Joyce. Maravanda Bahada levels up with Michael Smith. <laughs> uh, how do yeah, a great win for Dobie yesterday. Right. Let me just try something. This may not work. Uh, 
Uh, no, Jamie, I'm not sure we'll we'll get an Adrian Lewis return. If I'm being honest, that there was nothing I'd like to see more than a Lewis return, but I just don't see it happening. Well, that's not working. Let me try this. Does, it, does this work? Yeah, we've got a little subscribe button. That works. Uh, Luke Littler, tuning it up on Christian Perez. Weird. Can't get that to work. Oh well. We'll try it. We'll get there in the end. Um, I don't think he's not old enough to play seniors yet. Uh, two seconds. Let me... Joe Cullen is top. Let me. We should be able to see them now. My apologies for that. Uh, Nathan Aspen on three, one up on Stevie B. Uh, how are we doing? Love the darts. Hope you are good. Uh, that should be fixed now for you, Zach. Uh, World Cup is towards the end of June. Can't remember the exact date, um, but you've got New York, Copenhagen, Poland World Cup. Right, so uh, Joe Cullen getting a bit of a pasting. Stephen Burton averaging nearly 108. Uh, Joe's averaging 95 and doing absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, Barney is having a bit of a stinker, uh, but he's two all with Matt Campbell. Danny Lowby, 4-1 up on James Wade. This is exceptional from Lowby right now. Just the sales are two with Mike the Decker. Oh, let's move. I don't think I see the score. Got my streaming boards up as well. Um, no, I don't expect to see Adrian playing this year, which would mean he loses his tour card. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, Wadey not playing well at all. Matty Dennett has a leg on the board against Brendan Dolan. Uh, 
Joe Cullen. Is the fight back started? Still needs to win four on the spin. Andrew Gilding five, then up on Owen Bates. Callum Ritz has a leg back on the stream. Uh, no, not on the stream, just against Martin Schindler. Uh, Barney in front against Matt Campbell. Aspinall one away from victory. Luke Littler averaging a ton. Three one up on Christian Perez, averaging 103 himself. Um, Derek, that will probably be because the other two were on the normal boards and there is no footage of them. That is why I'd probably say. Uh, how are we doing, Baz? I'm all good, mate. Uh, I, I high fly, I don't think so. Uh, Carl, um, Gary is playing today. Uh, not started as of yet. Good stuff, Teresa. Good stuff, Barney. No breaks, Matt Campbell. 4 2 to the good. Michael Smith is in front against Mario Van der Bahada. It's not a classic. Uh, Stephen Burton has beaten Joe Cullen. 102 average for Bertie. Uh, cheers, Carl. Thank you very much for the, the support, mate. Uh, we did talk about the Premier League crowds. Bazaar, indeed, it's available um, there if you want to go and have a watch back or as audio only, um, available from all good podcast providers. Uh, how are we doing, Paul? Hope you're good, mate. <coughs> uh, yeah, Dobie not quite hitting the heights of yesterday. Uh, I, I still think there's a, a good four or five years left in Gary, if he wants to, that is. A uh, flurry of results. Aspinall beats Beaton 6-1. Woodhouse beats McKaylee Toretta 6-1. And Andrew Gilding serves the Bagel 6-0 on Owen Bates. Uh, Mario Van Bahada has levelled it up with Michael Smith. That one is three apiece. I love this. When the boards are flying everywhere. Uh, Christopher Tyski 3-2 up on Owen Roloff on board 10. Barney on board 3. Leeds Matt Campbell, board 2. Kian Van Veen leads Daniel Close on board 8, 3-2. Brendan Dolan is one away on board 1 for being Matty Dennett on our feature game. Board 15, Danny Lowry, 5-2 up on James Wade. Callum Rids is on the brink of defeat against Martin Schindler on board 4. Gurney leads Keen Barry on board 14, 4-3. Ryan Joyce, 4-3 uh, up on Martin Drat, that's on board 12. Joseph de Salza locked at three apiece with Mike Decker on board five. Hollywood, Chris Doby, yesterday's winner, three apiece with Neil Zonneveld on board two. Result on board four, uh, Martin Schindler, 6-2 win over Callan Ridd. Back to the little roundup, Luke Littler, 3-2 up on Christian Perez on board 13. Also stream board number two. Ooh, damn brave. Uh, no, Gary not played yet, Tommy Boy. Don't worry, we will let you know when he does. <laughs> Cheers, high flyer. Thank you very much. It's what we do here. It's what we do. And like we say, the dream is to do it in person in a studio one day. It will happen. Who will be an outsider for a major this year? Um, I don't know if he's an outsider, but I think Ryan so. Uh, Raymond Van Bielevelde has beaten Matt Campbell 6-2. That one was a 2 or a four-leg spurt from Barney. Gets that one done. Luke Littler has the break against Christian Perez on board 13. That's now 4-2 to 
to the Nuke, averaging 102.27. Uh, Lauby is one away, but James Wade is producing some of his best here on our feature game. Not done yet. The machine closer levels up with Cam Van Veen on board number eight. King Barry levels up with Gurney. That one's four apiece. Uh, Ryan Joyce has beaten Martin Drax 6-3 on board number 12. Relentless into the last 64. Uh, Keegan Brown just got underway with George Kennington. That's board number 16. Uh, warming up on board nine, Jacques Labra against Andy Bartons. Board three, Yellow Class and Robbie Canox. Board four, Joshua Richardson, William O'Connor. Board one, quarter finalists yesterday, Ryan Meikle. Taken on Jurgen Mandeville, board 11, Benjamin Delirouz against Robert Grundy, and board 7, Darren Beveridge against Adam Gaulas, all warming up. James Wade is back within one and has the darts to send us to a noble. Uh, yeah, Kevin, that's unfortunate. That's just the way Dart Connect um, do it. That's why I try and say the board numbers for you guys as well. James Wade making life difficult here for Lalby. that battle for you? Amazing. Thank you, Anita. Yeah, absolutely. If you haven't yet, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe to the channel here at Online Darts. We have you covered with everything. Long once we're done today, I've got a whole host of interviews to edit, which will be coming out over the next couple of days. Uh, did you... Uh, I didn't really know, to be honest, Jamie. Look, we, we've all seen, you know, he won a, won a World Series event before he had a tour card. So the expectation was always high. Uh, uh, I don't think so, Mark, because I'm at the Super Series. Um, we just haven't got the manpower to do everything yet, but we're getting there. Uh, who's top of the standings at the moment? In terms... Ranking are you on about Raymond? Uh, obviously, uh, Luke Humphreys is top of the main order of merit, but the pro tour order of merit, he's also top of that. Chizzy second, Heta third, Cross four, Rock five, Price six, MVG seven, Anderson eight, Searle nine, and Clayton ten is the uh, top of the pro tour order of merit. And James Wade has leveled up, and Lowby starts dry. Is this going to be one of the machine's comebacks? Kian Van Bain, 5-3 in front over Daniel Closer. Mike Decker in front against De Souza. Ratajski four apiece with Aaron Rolos. Benjamin Duru-Ruz is taking the opening against Robert Grundy. Luke Littler is a leg away from beating Christian Perez. Gurney and Barry in our last leg decider. The Nobles are out. This needs to be big from Wade. And it is. He's still in this. The pair trade 140s in our feature game. Uh, 
Mike De Decker has beaten Jose De Souza. Chris Dobie has beaten Neil Zonneveld as well. Hollywood still on for the double. And Lalby has six starts. This 81. A dry visit from Wade has cost him. Uh, Raymond, I'll come back to that in a second. Let's see if Lalby can get over the line. Killington tuning it up on Brown. Oh, pressure from James Wade. That's exceptional. He won't have gone three balls either, but he, I mean, it doesn't matter. Danny Lowby has stopped the machine. The American gets over the line. Um, we always get a lot of love for this man. So we'll put it there. Bit of Joshua Richardson against William O'Connor. Um, right, jumping back into the chat room. Uh, how are we doing, Mark? Uh, yeah, pdc.tv. Uh, I think it's $2.99 for the day or $4.99 for the month. Four stream boards available for you to watch. Currently, we have Jacques Lavra against Andy Bartons, Luke Littler against Christian Perez, uh, one game not being played at the moment, and Stefan Balmont against Chris Landman. Uh, Raymond, the, the, the tour card, who's going to lose them? It's a tough one at the moment. <coughs> um, because we don't know who's in those TV tournaments and Euro tours, because there's a lot that comes after the match play. So that there are, there are big names in danger, but they've still time to save themselves. Uh, Ryan Meikle just getting underway yesterday. Called a finalist for the Barber. Uh, yeah, Danny MBG is playing today. Uh, we playing in a couple of games time i think it is uh, remember everyone if you're new to the channel come and say hi in the chat room get involved the best chat room in darts Perez is back within one, and Luke's just gone off the ball here a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a Noble on board 10, Ratajski 5 all with Roloff. Rob Grundy is in front against Benjamin Dury Roos. Uh, yeah, I, look, I've, I've said it before, look, I, we don't work for the PDC, um, but the the, it's the I pay 50 quid a year up front for, for mine. And the amount of content you get for that money is just such good value. And if you live outside the UK or areas where they don't have a Pacific broadcast deal, you do get the TV events as well.
Uh, no, uh, Matt Campbell is struggling a wee bit right now, Rob. I agree. Uh, Perez is battling back, but... It's letting the stream catch up. Little misses a match start at double four. Uh, sorry, double seven. Can Perez step in? Andy Barnes falling it up on Jacques Labra. And Luke Littler does get over the line. Perez cannot take it the whole way. He misses three darts to make it five apiece. And the nuke steps in. Uh, Drew Ruse. Um, Just turned in. Uh, Jamie, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I've not really studied it from yesterday. Um... Uh, Darren Beveridge tuning that up on Adam Gowlas. <coughs> Rob, oh, excuse me. Uh, yellow class and 3 12 on Robbie Knops. Uh, Anthony was superb, high flyer, <clears throat> absolutely great to have him on. Um, uh, Excalibur, I disagree. There is a lot of crossover that sport can do with the way WWE does a lot of their stuff. We're not talking about scripting or anything like that, but the way they do stuff, the social media stuff, the shoulder content they did around WrestleMania was just incredible. That you look at um, WrestleMania was trending number one worldwide. Worldwide, not just in America, not just the UK, worldwide. There is a lot that can be done from that. But yeah, Anthony might be in the chat room um, as well. Um, but yeah, he was superb last night, friend of the show. How are we doing, Mike? Hope you are good. Uh, yeah, Josh MVG is playing today. Uh, yeah, Clarkson is 4-3 up on Robbie Knott's Ryan Meikle, 2-0 behind. Quarterfinal for him yesterday in our feature game. William O'Connor is back in front against Josh Richardson. Chris Lamman 
Uh, two and up on Stefan Belmont. Darren Beveridge, three and up on Gavlas. Andy Bolton just getting underway against Martin. Luke, man! Andy Barton's four one up on Jacques Labra. Grundy and um, Drew Ruse, three apiece. Ed House, four one up on Hunt. Uh, how are we doing? Joe, hope you are good. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it's it's really good. Uh, not a problem at all, Mike. Uh, I, I don't want to give a spoiler alert lead to the Royal Rumble, but potentially if no one else does it we might try i'm speaking with um matt ward we may try and do the royal rumble idea as an exhibition to see how it works i'm Oh, super stuff, Mike. Whereabouts are you based? Uh, Michael Van Gerwen is on board 11 and he's got Jeffrey DeGraff, mate. Should be fixed, I think. North Wales, nice, mate. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, no, Gary's not played yet. Um, will be soon. Uh, Andy Barton's has battered Jack Labra 6-1. The Beast. Not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. Uh, Dom Taylor, two and up on Dimitri Vandenberg. Darren Beveridge, now four and up on Adam Gavlas. Ed House, one away, five, two up on Adam Hunt. Uh, Jamie Hughes, two and up on Callum Goffin. That's on board 14. How are we doing, Joe? Hope you are good. Uh, 
sort of Jamie, but it, yeah, nothing in it. He just didn't play. Um, Uh, Luke Littler will play the winner of Nathan Rafferty and Vincent van der Voort. Uh, Yala Klassen is into the last 64. 6-5 winner over Robbie Knops. Uh, David, for this, it, obviously the, the seeds are picked, but it's just a random draw. Um, do you think this will be Peter Wright's last Premier League? I think so. Benjamin Drew Roos is in front against Robert Grundy. Ryan Meikle levels it up three apiece. Jürgen van der Vild. Dimitri Vandenberg, level with Dom Taylor. Jermaine Watamina, 5-2 up on Adam Warner. Gavlas has one back against Beveridge. Timo Tricol and Dave Chisnell just getting underway on the stream. Uh, yeah, Luke Humphrey's just getting underway now on board number one. Or, oh, sorry, next on board one. Once Ryan Meikle's done. Uh, yeah, Tricol was brilliant yesterday. Absolutely superb. Andy Bolton and Martin Luke, man, tied it to a piece. Um, not very good. Love darts, not, not unless someone pulls out. He's not in the lineup. Martin Lukeman in front against Bolton. Rafferty, 3-1 up on Vincent van der Voort. Vincent's missed a whole host of chances to get himself back in this one. Jermaine Watamina seals a 6-2 win over Adam Warner. Graham Usher, 2-1 up on Aaron Monk. Usher. One of the nicest men you'll ever meet, Graham Usher. Mikkel is in front. The man from Scarborough. Last time we were up there, had a, had a great catch-up and a coffee with with Graham. Gary Anderson is warming up on board number three. He faces hope by Buha. Um no, uh, Lee, I think he's this is his second year. Um and He's in massive danger of losing his card. Uh, 
Um, how do you think rights? I don't know. Um, look, there's so much can happen. Um, I'm not sure what the format's going to be next year for the Premier League. Um, hopefully, there's more players, so there's more of a chance. And there he is, my man. How we doing, Anthony? Star of the Live Lands last night, Mr. Eugenio. It was great to have you on. Uh, yeah, if Dirk can get back to the form last year, absolutely. Uh, Simon Whitlock takes the opener against Johnny Clayton. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Fifty six for Joshua Richardson to save the match. And he does be going to a noble there. William O'Connor will have the darts in the decider. Stephen Belmont one away. Five three up on Chris Landman. Graham Usher three one up on Monk. Tricol levels up on board nine against Dave Chisnell. Robert Grundy five apiece. That one's going the distance. And also Martin Lukeman, 4-2 up on Andy Bolton on board eight. Dimitri Vandenberg, three apiece with Dom Taylor. Gary Anderson is underway. That will be our feature game once this noble leg is over. And Anderson takes the opener against the Kiwi. My Michael's broken throw. 5-3 up the barber. And Robert Grundy has stolen victory. Away from Benjamin Drew Roos. He trailed. 5-4 wins the last two in a row. Darren Beveridge, a 6-1 winner on board seven over Adam Gavlas. Ice cold into the last 64. And Graham Usher now 4-1 up on Aaron Monk, the gambler. Two away from a place in the last 64. And Graham Usher is one of those players. We were talking about players trying to keep their tour card. Where is... So... Again, Graham Usher needs a big, big push. Probably needs to get to the World Championships to have any chance of keeping that card. Uh, no, Stephen Joe Cullen lost early doors to an inspired Stephen Burton. Johnny Clayton levels it up with Whitlock. Match starts incoming for William O'Connor. Stephen Belmont is beating Chris Landman 6-3. Is the Magpie going to join? In he is. William O'Connor wins the last leg decider. And you know where we're going from here. It's time for the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. Uh, Dom Taylor back in front against Dimitri Vandenberg. Nathan Rafferty one away from condemning Vincent van der Voort to a miserable time in Leicester. And Anderson doubles his lead, the Flying Scotsman. Um, Izzy, the reason it's done is it's for a couple of reasons. One, obviously, the bookies need to know in plenty of time to price stuff up because in a short format game, Having the throw is huge. Also, hand on heart, I've seen the ball take 10 to 15 minutes before with some players. So that's why it's done backstage in plenty of time. Uh, yeah, it was um, uh, Nottingham. Was it Nottingham uh, track last night, Sam, I saw?
uh, Gerwin Price is playing. And he is one up against Lucas Venick. Thibaut Tricol carrying on yesterday's form, averaging 96 to all with Dave Chisnell. Dimitri Vandenberg levels it up with Dom Taylor. Hope by Puha playing some really good stuff here against Gary Anderson. How are we doing, Matt? I hope you are good. Uh, also, warming up Michael Van Gogh and Jeffrey DeGraff, Josh Rock, Mike Kleinhoven, Ricardo Piotrezko against Mensal Sulevich, Ryan Searle against Leighton Bennett, and the world number one world champion Luke Humphreys is warming up. Callum Goffin is now one away from beating Jamie Hughes. And we have a result on board eight. It is Martin Luke, man, 6 3 winner over Andy Bolton. Barry Van Pier, four at peace. Graham Usher, 5 2 now. The gambler needs one to condemn Aaron Monk to an opening round defeat. Gary Anderson averaging 101 3 0 up on Hope by. Opie's averaging 98 himself, doing very little wrong. Nathan Rafferty beats Vincent Manavort on the stream board. Piotrescu Sudovic is underway. Gary Price doubles his lead. 107 average for the Iceman against Venick. Danny up at 2 0 up on Robert Owen. MVG takes the opener in 12 against Jeffrey DeGraff. Josh Rock, yesterday's finalist, underway against Mike Clivenhoven on board seven. Remember, everyone, come and say hi in the chat room. Come and get involved. And if you haven't yet, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe to the channel. Johnny Clayton, 3 1 up on Simon Whitlock, averaging 106. There are signs that the ferret is getting back to his very, very best right now. Uh, Dom Taylor leads again, 5 4 up against Dimitri Vandenberg. No wiggle room. For Dimitri will have to win two on the spin, otherwise, it will be the tower that's going through. Peter Wright also warming up against Lee Evans. How are you doing, Pete? Hope you're good, mate. Gary Anderson, 140, Tom 140 to leave 1 2 1 after nine. Hope I pull out with Sal on tops, but he may not get a go. Anderson, 1 2 1 for 4 0. He's messed it up. Hope I to get a leg on the board. He deserves this. He's played some good stuff. Tricol leads Dave Chisnell. The Frenchman is in front. Uh, how are we doing, Becca? I hope you are good from the Pharaohs, if I remember rightly. And Sean from Australia, how are we doing? And Hope I Puma does have a leg on the board. Aaron Monk back to within two of Usher. But again, Monk, no room to manoeuvre. Has to be perfect from here. You would expect Graham Usher to get opportunities. Johnny Clayton, 4 1 up now on Simon Whitlock. Whitlock averaging a ton, but nothing he can do. The ferret averaging 105.21 right now. Uh, how are you doing, Elijah? I hope you're good. Great to have you in. Remember, everyone, we will be here until around half six, quarter to seven, making sure you are up to date with everything here at Players' Championship number eight from. It'll always be the morning side. I'm not sure what it's called anymore. Uh, how are we doing, Dave? Has Aiden Kirk played yet or not? No, I'm sure he's got. I'm sure he's got Cameron. I'm sure he's got Cammy. <laughs> uh, I think he's about six nine, something like that. Cordeca's pretty tall as well. Aaron Monk back to within one of Graham Usher. Uh, how are we doing, Darcy? Hope you're good. How are we doing, Bosch? 
Uh, MVG averaging 115, 2 1 up on Jeffrey de Graaf. Gary Anderson, 4 1 up on Hope I Puhau. Whitlock has a leg back. Uh, yeah, no, MBG is flying in this game, but still has work to do. Luke Humphreys is now underway. I'm also going to keep an eye on this one. Graham Usher is down to a finish on the Aaron Monk darts, but Monk can make 175 a lot lighter. 87 to leave, 88. Not a gimme. Graham Usher, 158 to win it. Made a mess. So Aaron Monk, 88. To level us up at five apiece. Usher would have the darts in the decider. Doesn't go from Aaron Monk. Thibaut Tricol, how he's won that leg, I've got no idea. He was a mile behind. Country mile. But he's 5-2 up on Chizzy. Gary Price, 4-1 up on Lucas Venick. Aaron Monk tidies up the 52. And they are going all the way. Usher does have the darts. Dom Taylor has beaten Dimitri Vandenberg on 4 5 6 5 Usher only starts 68. Is that an opportunity for Monk? Monk's in control. He trailed Graham Usher 5 2. Ryan Sell turning up on Leighton Bennett. Luke Humphreys takes the opener on board number one. Whitlock still fighting away against Clayton, averaging a ton. Huge moments here in the Aaron Monk. Graham Usher, noble leg. It's advantage, Monk. Graham Usher has slipped. Doesn't leave a finish, so Aaron Monk has six darts for one, seven, eight. Darting disaster for the gambler. Monk only scores 80. Usher needs a 140 here. Minimum. 62, not enough. Jamie Hughes has been Calum Goffin, 6-5. Thibaut Tricol has beaten Dave Chisnell. Uh, Aaron Monk leaves 59. Graham Usher, 126 to win it in style. No treble. Monk should get two match darts. 59. Disaster for Usher. Delight for Monk. Aaron Monk completes the comeback against Graham Usher. Hope I Puha making a contest of this here. There's a break opportunity.
Johnny Clayton has beaten Simon Whitlock. Um, do I think Vandenberg would ever win a world title? No, I don't. That he can, but do I think so? No. Um, Luke Littler, yet won his first game against Christian Perez. Uh, just getting underway. Scott Williams and Damon Hatter. And Williams does take the opener against the Heat. Brutal first round game that. Going price. That is sensational. A 6 1 win over Lucas Vanek, averaging 114.46. That is absolutely outstanding from the Iceman. Gary Anderson is now one away. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't write it off. Little again a hat trick. Leighton Bennett has a leg back against Ryan Sell, but trails 3-1. Luke Humphreys 2-1 to the good. Mentor Sudovic levels it up with Ricardo Pietrescu on board number six. Peter Wright one all with Lee Evans. Oh, we got excited. We were holding our breath. Gary Anderson was threatening the nine. Uh, David Hatter levels it up with Scott Williams. Uh, yes, we'll put MVG on. Well, it may not last that long. Well, we'll get the decide. We'll get the end of MVG. Yep. As Gary Anderson seals victory. Flying Scotsman, 6 3 win over Hopi Puhau. Could be a perfect time to tune in. Oof. MBG looking at a ton to seal the deal. Scott Williams throwing with at the moment. He's throwing with the K Flex flight and stem combo. Does lead David Hatter 2 1. Missed match starts for Michael Van Gelwin. Jeffrey de Graaf does. Get back within two. Peter Wright level with Lee Evans, two apiece. Josh Rock, Mike Cliven-Homan 
level at two apiece. Radek Sadansky and Willie Borland just getting underway. Uh, Wesson Lyman, Graham Hall on board 15. Dirk Van Dyven, Boda, James Hurrell. That should be a tidy little Tuckson tussle. Um, I think so. Love the darts. So MBG one hundred four leaves thirty two. Willie Borland takes the owner against Sadansky. Is this the time that MBG gets the job done? Yes, it is. A 6-3 winner over Jeffrey DeGraff for Michael Van Gerwen. Um, Where are we going next? Shall we go for... Let's go for a bit. Right, chat room. Do you want Peter Wright or Dirk Van Dyvenboda? Peter Wright wins. Right. Uh, yeah, not the best from Luke Humphreys, but he's winning. Only averaging 91. I say only. I'd be quite happy with that. Graham Hall turning up on Wessel Nyman. I'll get on right with Peter, Max. Uh, Josh Rock, yesterday's finalist, a 6-3 winner over Mike Kivenhoven. Scott Williams back in front against Damon Hetter. This one's swinging one way, then the next. Both players having opportunities. Aiden Kirk Cameron Menzies underway. Menzies needs a victory. Remember, he's in match play contention right now. Sadansky has one back against Ball and Cross. 4-0 up against Gert Enches.
Dirk Van Dyman may have leveled it up. One all with James Hurrell. Luke Humphreys is one away now. Ross Smith averaging 111. Sensational from Smudger. Two went up on Boris Kirchmar. Russell Lyman has one back against Graham Hall. Peter Wright. It's a break opportunity here. Remember, Snakey trailed this one 3 2. Unless Evans can produce a roof raiser, right? It's potentially about to win two on the spinning. Willie Ball and three went up on Sedansky. Dylan Slemon, two all with Gabriel Clements on board 12 and Luke Humphreys on board one. A sealed victory, 6-3. Aidan Kirk takes the opener against Cameron Menzies. It's a bit of a smelly leg, that one. No problem at all, Max. No problem at all. Uh, yes, I do think he'll defend at least one, Peter. I'm not sure which one, but I think it will be. Uh, no, Littler is still in. Beat Christian Perez in his first round game. Steve Lennon won the lap on Roby John. Boris Kirchmar has levelled it up with Smudger Dirk in front against Hurrell. Borland now 4 1 up and moving away from Sedansky. Peter Wright is now one away from victory. Cameron Menzies levels it up with Kirk, one apiece. Scott Williams back in front against Damon Hetter. And Rob Cross serves a bagel, 6 0 a hit inches. Voltage on board five in absolute cruise control. Leighton Bennett has charged back into this game. He's now five all with Ryan Searle. He was in Searle was in complete control of this tie. He was five one up. Ross Smith back in front against Kirchmar.
Willie Ball and one away from victory against Sadansky. Jim Williams, one up on Mickey Mansell. Dirk and James Hurrell locked at two apiece. Dylan Slevin, 4-2 up now on Gabe Clements. Peter right now throwing for the match. Lee Evans held throw. Ian White takes the opener against Richard Veenstra. Hetta levels it up with Williams. Back to back tons for Peter Wright. Menzies levels up two of Aiden Kirk. Remember, Menzies needs a big run. To keep his match play hopes alive. And who do I think will win today? I'm going for Gary. And Ryan Sell does see off the comeback of a Leighton Bennett heavy metal into the last 64. Dirk back in front. Sadansky fighting back against Borland. Peter Wright, 96 for victory. Snake bite has missed a couple of match starts there. Scott Williams back in front against Hetta. Just going to check on the stream. Does he take out the 150? Oh, if this goes, this is sensational. Damon Hetta was sat on double 18 to break the Williams throw. Treble 19, treble 19, double 18. That is stunning from Williams. The maverick that is Scott Williams. Peter Wright has had his opportunities, but now it's out of his hands. Lee Evans has the darts. Ross Smith, one away from being Kirchmar. Sulevic needs to win two on the spin against Pietretsko. Slytherin, one away. Hatter levels it up. We've got a noble on board 13 or stream board number two. Cracking game, miss. Disaster for Peter Wright. Uh, Johnny, he did, but he averaged 98. Didn't do a lot wrong, mate. Didn't do a lot wrong. Peter Wright, starting disaster for Snakebite. Manik Sadansky is back level with Borland. Superstar from the pole. Borland has blown a huge lead. But we've got two huge nobles. 
Damon Hetter stolen the darts against Williams. Evans is in control, leaves tops unless Wright can produce fireworks. Remember, he's mismatched darts across multiple legs. But now he's going to have to watch Lee Evans have his first opportunity. And he's done it. <clears throat> and now all eyes on this tenth Williams Hetter. Damon Hetter's down to 78 on the Williams darts. Remember, this has been a to and fro battle. Ross Smith, a 6 2 winner. Sadansky beats Borland. What a comeback from the pole. But now. Hetter has missed. Scott Williams, 105 to save your skin. <clears throat> Only scored 65. Did he get a match start? I will tell you in a minute. But Hetter has beaten Williams. <clears throat> Did Williams get a match start in that 105 combo? Let's have a look. No, he didn't. Cameron Menzies is on the verge of elimination. Is his match play hopes going up in smoke? All right, we're going to catch the end of the Dirk Van Diamond Motor game. Uh, how are we doing, Anthony? Hope you're good, mate. Uh, yeah, look, Darcy, people are always going to have different opinions on, on stuff. Um, no one's right, no one's wrong. Uh, are there still, uh, Baza, the cut-off for the match play is not till the first week of July. So still plenty of time. And Cameron Menzies is out. Oh, not good, not good, mate, not good. Right, 
Stephen Bunting, one away. Graham Hall has beaten Wessel Nyman, 6-3. Kim Hybrex, 2 all. Pascal Ruprecht, Dirk van Dijvenboda have beaten James Hurrell, 6-2. Danny Van Tripe, 1-0 up on Josh Payne. Oscar Lacaziak getting on the way against Madders Rasma. And Nathan Aspinall against Andy Barton, just warming up in the last 64. We've still got a few last one, two, eight games to go. Again, chat room, welcome along. Uh, Vinkstra, three all with Ian White. So fact, I like this one. We might go there. Let's have a look at Vinkstra and White. There we go. How are we doing, Mr. Duff? Good to have you in. Yeah, great win for uh, Dylan Sledden. Uh, the race for the Northern Ireland World Cup team is getting interesting. Who will play with Josh Rock? Will it be Brendan Dolan or will it be Daryl Gurney? Um, south of the border in Ireland, the Republic. Uh, Steve Lennon and Mickey Mantle both losing at the moment. Uh, how are you, Wayne? Hope you are good. Uh, Clayton and Kevin Dutes just getting underway on the stream. Uh, Barney will be on stream board number two. And he is warming up. So, with great pleasure, I know you'll be watching somewhere. This one's for you, Jar. The Barney alarm has sounded. Uh, Stephen Bunting. 6-4 winner, Ian White in front against Vinstra. Jim Williams, 5-1 up on Mickey Mansell. Steve Lennon still fighting back to 5-4, but Roby John still a huge favourite in this one. Oscar Lacaziak takes the opener against Maddox Rasma. Jeffrey the Swan, 4-3 up against Jeffrey Sparadans. Brett Clayton does take the opener against Kevin Dutes. Vinstra in a strong position to make it four apiece. Big, big game for both players warming up on board too. Suits against Merv King. Both of them scrapping for their lives right now. It's four apiece. Vinkstra and White. Rasma levels it up with Lukasiak.
Nick Kenny, one all with Rapid Ricky. Uh, Kevin Dukes levels it up. Van Tripe in front against Payne. Just getting underway. Jules Van Dongen and Carol Sedlicek. So only one more game in the last one, two, eight to get underway. And that is on board two. And that is Alan Suter against Merv King. Fairs. White, one away. Roby John has beaten Steve Lennon. Jeffrey Dijuan, five, four up now. And Jeffrey Sparanans. And Suits Mo King just getting underway on stream board number three. Uh, hello, how are we doing? I uh, said the check takes the opening against Van Dongen. Josh Payne, three all with Van Tripe Evans in front against Kenny. And Ian White is forging the break opportunity, and it would be a match winning one. At the same time. Yeah, I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. Thank you very much. Again, incredible chat room in today. As always, uh, Kim Hybrex 5-3 up on Pascal Ruprecht. Ian White, 61, if he gets a go. Uh, yeah, Johnny, the odds are rather stingy, I'll give you that. And Finch, uh, sorry, Vinstra is out. Ian White, 61 in two. The Diamond gets the job done. All right, it's not being streamed. So we're going to go into the last 64, because I think this will be a little bit of a treat. Of a game. Let's go for the asp against the beast. Cheers, Daniel. Thank you very much, mate. Andy Barton is in front against Aspinall. Joshuan has beaten Sparanans. Van Tripe back in front. Said the check 2 1 up on Van Dongen. And Andy Barnes has an opportunity on the Aspinall throw here.
double 18 for Barton's. Missed opportunity. Barnes is in front. How are we doing, Harry? Hope you're good, mate. Well, well, yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. Is sensational from Andy Barton's yellow class and two nil up on Raymond Van Barneveld. This is for 5-2, the beast. And it goes, Andy Bartons is absolutely flying. Aspinall will have to win, four on the spin. But he is fighting back in true Asp fashion. Uh, what have we got? I finished the rest. Of the, uh, fair enough. It's one of them. Uh, Kevin, it depends how you look at it. If you ask the players, they would say the Premier League would be part of it. Alan Suter, 2-1 up on Mervyn King. No, Kevin, I, I, I disagree. Um, the Premier League is huge. And you pe people have to remember, it props up the rest of the tour as well. So I know it gets slated by a lot of hardcore fans, whatever you want to call them. But the Premier League, the money it generates props up so much. And you, you go back to snooker, the Masters wasn't always ranked, but it was always part of their triple crown. Uh, Ricky Evans, 4-3 up on Nick Kenny. Reese Griffin, 4-2 up. Josh Payne, Danny Van Tripe going to a decider. Barney is back level. Aspinall is fighting for everything right now. And he's got a break opportunity. A 
and he's back within one. Andy Barton's average has just dropped slightly where Aspinall has just carried on. I think so, Joe. Madas Rasmo has beaten Oscar Lukasiak 6-2. Raymond Van Barneval wins three legs on the spin. Yeah, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Mervyn King levels up to a piece. Uh, yeah, I, I think he does. I think he makes it. Look, I, I, I love the Premier League debate. And for me, I, I, I have it as part of the, the top three. I know it's inviting and, and everything like that, but it's still absolutely huge. We are level. Knew this would be a good game. Aspinall, five. Barnes, five. Best walk-on song in the PDC. Oh, that's a toughie. Uh, no, I haven't, Shane. Would I? Yeah, look, if, if I was in and around that way, then yeah. This, is, this would be an incredible comeback from Aspinall. And he's in control. Uh, Ricky Evans has beaten Nick Kenny 6-3. Yellow class and back in front against Raymond Van Barneveld. Darren Beveridge tuning up on Luke Woodhouse. Mike Decker, Dom Taylor level at one all. Brendan Dolan tuning up on Ryan Meikle. And Aspinall has a ton left. Chat room, you are on fire. I'll come back to you in a second. Jules Van Donen levels up with Carl Sender check. And that is absolutely world class from Nathan Aspinall. He trailed Andy Barton's 5-2. But that grit, that desire of Aspinall gets him over the line. What a contest. Uh, right, let's jump back into the chat room a second. Um, getting the ass on the ass, good stuff. Uh, what are you watching on? So the scores that you can see are from tv.darkconnect.com. Uh, afternoon, Matt. Hope you are doing. 
Um, is it in the top three for prestige, or is it just because? No, I it, it, look. The money is obviously huge for the Premier League, but I think I, I don't look at the money. I I I understand that people saying it's non-ranked and and everything like that, but the Premier League has played such a part in the PDC that, that for me it has enough history to, to warrant that. Look, I get the money is is huge. But it's been around long enough for me. So I'm just unpacking my tuna sandwich. Rock and roll here. Uh, Brendan Dolan, three nil up on Ryan Meikle. Kevin Dutes sees off Brett Clayden. Two games in the 1-2-8 remain. Alan Souter is 3-2 up on Merv King. Carol said the check has just moved 5-4 up on Jules Van Dongen. Barney back in front against Klassen. Unbelievable stuff. Which is good to see Darren Beveridge playing well again. Ice cold. Remember, we saw him at the the online the online league before it became the Super Series. Thrower is absolutely Rolls Royce. Merv King does level it up, three all. Uh, yeah, Ethan Littler is still in. Some great games warming up. I tell you, blinking you miss board 15. Uh, Danny Lowry against Jermaine Watamia, but said the checkers beaten Van Dongen, 6-4. My Luke man levels up with Jean Van Vane. Well, Stansky takes the owner against Tricol. And Yella Klassen has beaten Raymond Van Barneveld. Barney split 38 and missed two at double 16. And Klassen steps in. How are we doing, Luca? Barney looks happy. Not.
So the race for the match play. Let's have a. Are there any big movers today? Let's have a look. Not really. It's a bit of a disastrous day for Menzies because everyone above him has picked picked up money and he hasn't. Good stuff, Luca. Good stuff. Uh, Joe, I, I I don't know, man. Um, it, it could be could be one thing. It could be a number of things. Uh, Peter Wright was playing, um, lost to Lee Evans in a last leg decider. Gary Anderson warming up against Aidan Kirk. Alan Suter has broken the Merv King throw. Five, three to Suits. My bad, I almost missed something. Here we go. And we will go to the little game once this one's done. Gary Anderson will be on stream board number two short. I'm stream board number one shortly. Martin Luke, man, three one up on Ian Van Bain. Alan Souter has beaten Mervyn King six three. How are you doing, Gary? Uh, come on, Luke Warrington, lads. Yeah, we, as soon as this game's done, we will put the Luke game as feature game. Jermaine Watamina blowing Danny Lowry away, averaging 105, 9, 8, 4 at the moment. My Newman four one up now.
Luke Mettler, 3 nil up. Not vintage, but doesn't need to be right now. Luke Woodhouse is just reeling in Darren Beveridge here. Um, I'm not sure whether he um, still plays much or not, I don't know. Thank you very much, Manita. Yeah, everyone, drop us a like. And give us a follow as well. Massively appreciate the support. Remember, we're trying to get to 36k as quick as possible. And then on to 40 is the next big milestone. Remember, the more the more you guys help us by liking and subscribing and stuff, the more the more content we'll hopefully be able to produce for you. Oh, Woodhouse has come inside. He's missed double 12 for the nine. Rafferty has a leg back and Woodhouse beverage going all the way. Dolan has beaten Meikle 6 2. Martin Schindler is on the verge of beating O'Connor. How are you doing, Fred? Hope you are well. Uh, Andrew Gild and Robert Grundy just getting underway. And Rolos in front against Aaron Monk, 3-2. All of a sudden, is Luke Woodhouse favourite to complete comebacks? It's been a day of comebacks. Oh, we're about to get another one. Beverage sticking in there. Gutsy from Ice Cold. Two treblous visits from Woodhouse. Just open up the door again. Massive visit from Darren Beverage. And now he looks at 80 to get the job done. And he does it in three. Darren Beveridge is into the last 32 of Players Championship 8. Ice cold. And then we are going to the nuke. Luke Littler versus Nathan Rafferty as our feature. Uh, Watamina is one away from beating Lauby. Gurney two and up on Jamie Hughes. Nathan Rafferty effectively back on throw. Uh, Carson, PDC TV.
This is better from the nuke. He's responding a couple of couple of off legs for the nuke, but finding troubles again. But Rafferty is also in the groove. Gildin takes the opener against Rob Grundy, and Watamina sees off Danny Lauby. Uh, Chris Doby just getting underway. Sadansky 5-2 up on Tricol. Yeah, uh, yeah, what I mean is playing incredibly. Level game, getting interesting. Uh, no, Watamina is making a charge for the match play. It's unfortunate for him. There's a few above him that are also still in today. Kian Van Veen is back within one of Lukeman. Lukeman! Super stuff, everyone. Remember, come and say hi in the chat room if you haven't yet. Whether you're watching at home, sneaking a little, a little watch at work, keeping you company. We have you covered here at Online Darts. Martin Schindler has beaten William O'Connor 6-3, averaging 106 for Shin Diggity. Stefan Belmont 4-2 up on Michael Smith. Smith only averaging 82. Disaster for the Bully Boy. Sadansky beats Trakol 6-2. What is it they called him? The unranked Polish bus driver. Uh, into the last 32. Uh, going price, Graham Hall is going to be on stream board number two. Uh, Luke is back in front. That's better from him. 4-3 up, man. How are we doing, Jack? Hope you are good. Uh, no, I didn't see any of it today. Uh, Luke, Luke's at the World Grand Prix. Don't worry about that. Don't need to worry about those maths. Andrew Gildon turning up on Robert Grundy. Luke Humphreys back underway. He is 1-0 to the good. Aaron Monk still fighting, but has work to do against Owen Roloff's Monk already produced one comeback today. Can he do it again? Stream boards seem to be taking a bit of time today in Leicester. Not sure why. Kian Van Veen levels against Luke, man. Yeah, Andrew, I'm not sure what's going on with the stream boards. Seem to be taking forever and a day. Uh, yes, Fred, I caught up with Raw this morning. Uh, Luke Littler has put on a little spurt and is now in control against Rafferty. Oh, Gary Anderson is underway now. Gary has won the ball. Going price also underway. The way they the way these two have both gone off at the same time says to me there may have just been a little technical fault somewhere that the um, engineers had to sort out.
Uh, I will be in Birmingham, absolutely. Uh, and there we have it. The nuke is into the last 64, 63 win over Nathan Rafferty. Before I change the game, I'm just going to keep you updated. Martin Lukeman has missed multiple match starts. Ian Van Veen now has a chance to win it with a 117 finish to break Lukeman's heart. This would sting. Oh, and it goes. Comeback complete from Ian Van Veen. Martin Lukeman is out. I know we get a lot of... I'm just checking now. He's not on the stream board. We, all, we always get a lot of love for Hollywood. So let's get him as a feature game. Yesterday's winner is going as feature. There he is. Bit of Hollywood. All right, so calm down, calm down. We all make mistakes. Michael Smith has rallied. He's back level with Belmont for a piece. He's put 10 points on the average. It's still only 91. Far below Bully Boy's normal standards. Kim Hybrex takes the opener against Rob Cross. Boltwood's had a long wait. From his first round game. Aiden Kirk levels up with Anderson. Hollywood 2 all, but he starts with a 177. It's on. Let's not get too excited just yet. Uh, Luke Humphreys, that's more like it, averaging 109, 4 0 up. Richie Edhouse has beaten Ryan Joyce 6 4. Aiden Kirk back to back legs is in front against Ando. And they missed the dart tops for 111. Chris Doby breaks and is back in front. Price levels up with Hall. Um, let's have a look. Where are we? Not there. Not there. Da, 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 da. So he will face the winner of Damon Hetter and Kevin Dutes. Uh, I don't, 
Uh, David, it might be on Dart's rankings. Uh, Gary Anderson breaks straight back to a piece. Casual little 13 dark break back for Anderson. Oh, here he is. The Godfather is close. Blue Country, 6 1 winner over Jeffrey the Swan, 106.50 average. Stefan Belmont leveled it up. Five all with Michael Smith. And Aiden Kirk back in front against Anderson. Anderson misses another dart at tops as part of a combination. And Aiden Kirk steps in. Andrew Gilding 5 1 up, averaging 106. Where's this version of Gilding come from? Danny Van Tripe, 3 1 up on Ryan Sell. Doby, 4 2 to the good. Would expect to come back to make it 5, but you never know. And let's just do this. And say, good afternoon. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Obi Wan. I love How that. Are you all right? Yeah, not bad, mate. You? Yeah. I, I didn't watch any of it, but I saw from cool. socials a good day for Colin Osborne today. Yeah, five from five in the end for him. Wasn't as quick as yesterday. But we are here. It's been a day of comebacks here. I'm seeing a lot of six fives in the 64 already. Yella Klaassen against Raymond Van Barneveld. Darren Beveridge against Luke Wood. Woodhouse had a great day yesterday. GM Van Veen yeah, against Martin Lukeman. Uh, up. Up. There's been a lot of them today. 5 1, 5 2 up, and comebacks happen. Right out against Lee Evans. Dave Chisnell gone. I'll tell you who else is that. Scott Wood. Michael Smith. Me and my Stefan Baumont. Benny's got him. Colin gone 6 2 to 112 average from Stephen Burton. Wade in the first round again. Yeah. Uh, Gerwin Price was sensational in his first round game. I'm not going to lie. Surprised he's still here today. Yeah. I've seen on socials that Aspinall is injured, yet he seems to still be playing. Why? On his socials or someone else? PDCs. I obviously, as soon as I'm sat down here, I don't. Yeah. See anything? 
So I said something about like playing through the pain it. barrier. He was five two down to Andy Barton and produced a stunning comeback. Sorry, I'm typing again. Where's it gone? Just watching the clip they've put out of it in the summer. Aspinall pushes through the pain barrier to destroy Steve Beaton 6 1 with 100 average. Interesting. Afternoon, everyone. Bosh, you're in. How are we doing, folks? Johnny Clayton winning some darts games. 101 average in the first round. Tune up on Dylan Slevin now, averaging 98. Yeah, he's, he's played, played some good stuff. Needs it. Needs a run, does Johnny Boy. Danny Knopper beats Jim Williams. All right, Aiden. How we do? Daryl Gurney sees off Jamie U64. And uh, he's got back. another day in Group A first, Jack, but it's likely he'll drop into Group C now. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's impossible for him to make B. Did he win A? Did he win A today? No. <sighs> Uh, afternoon, just nice to the ferret doing well, absolutely. Uh, Logan PDC TV, there's four stream boards. The game on the, the last one to eight game between David Hetter and Scott Williams was a great game. Six five to Hetter, just a just a good game. Decent. Kevin Price averaging 101 right now. Make that 106 as he beats Graham Hall, six legs to one. Remember, everyone, come on, say hello, drop us a like and subscribe as well. A demolition job. From the Iceman. Dom Taylor taking out Mike to Decker. Huge. Yeah. He beat Dimitri in round one, I think. I think he's on a bit of a Belgium cull. Just having a look through some names, some pretty unwanted streaks right now in PDC. Just seeing yeah. if anybody managed to overturn that. Oh. Why can I not? Is he not played today? Who's that?
Oh no, he lost six two. Adam Warner. And Keen Barry. Keen Barry's now lost twelve straight first round matches on the Pro Tour. Yep. Gary Anderson, Gary Anderson beats Aiden Kirk, one of the call ups from the challenge tour this season. Good to see Aiden back playing some decent darts. Uh, yeah, but he is beaten he's by Ryan Scotsman. He's missed a, a good lad, is Aiden as well. He's missed a huge opportunity to push it to a decided leg there. Obviously, he's just signed with Unicorn. He looks like he's playing with some new, very grippy darts by the stream. The grip looks very aggressive on them. No, we've had no, we've had a couple of close attempts. Luke Woodhouse went inside on the double twelve. Ooh. I keep booing players in their practice darts. It's super serious. I'm not sure I'm supposed to. <laughs> Why not? Good bunch this week. Yeah, it seems. I'm, I'm down tomorrow. You have to. Yeah, I'm producing, so yeah. Let Robbie have time off. Sort it out. <laughs> uh, MVG. He's play, played better today. Played well in his opener. Uh, Josh Rock sees off Ian White. Rocky into the last 32. Fold out one, so it's there was um. Big win for Alan Suter in the last one to him and Merv King. But it was a big game for both, and Suits came out on top. Uh, yeah, Johnny Clayton has fell off a cliff. He was averaging well over a ton. Now trails 3 2. Is it just me? I don't like the sliver action. No. Is that because he's a lefty, though? It might be. I'd like to see And it, it just doesn't look right because we're analysing it from the wrong side. Possibly, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. I'd like to see it from the other side as we do a right-hander. Yeah. It's 4-2 to Sleven. Yeah, it, it might just be the optical illusion. Yeah. Uh, go and see your first one in Sheffield. I know you'll have a great time, John. Now that Humphreys has won a world title, who's the best player not to win a world title? Currently, even or before Humphreys has won it, it's still the same. <laughs> the oh, best player to never say, win a world title. Current, Here's it always will be James Wade. <laughs> James Wade, yeah. The fact he's won everything else. Mm hmm. Mad as Rasma has won a bagel. Bagel served and delivered. That's a ridiculous stat. Luke Humphreys could not bother turning up to all remaining Pro Tours and only lose 35k off his ranking. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Stephen Bunting won that up on yeah. Suits. Mental Sulevich. Two, one uh, up on Reese Griffith. Two sets. Michael Van Gogh in three net up, averaging 105. Suits levels it up. Slithen in complete control against Clayton right now. 5 3 to the Irishman. Uh, Damon Hetter 4 all with Kevin Dutes. That went Diamond Bird attacks the other against Carol Sedlicek. Is there any darts tomorrow? There's a Euro Tour or two Euro Tour qualifiers tomorrow. Um. I've, tr yeah, I've tried some light. I don't know what weight they were, Bosch, but they were ridiculously light. Yeah, don't don't like them. Don't like a light dart. MVG 4-0 to the good. Uh, no, Luke returns to ET4. Mental Sudovic 2-0 to the good. Ross Smith in front against Rapid Ricky Evans. Uh, Luke will play. I did say it earlier. I can't, can't remember myself. So let's have a look. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, Littler plays cross. Right v Humphreys, cross v Littler, Price v Smith, MVG v Aspinall. What are we on about today? What about today, yeah. Oh. Uh, I play the winner of Hatter and Dudes. Yeah. Johnny Clayton still fighting, but work to do. He thinks the ferret here. In this room, anywhere. Have you got your AirPods? In my rucksack, I think. <laughs> Kevin Dutes levels it up with Hetta five apiece, MVG five nil to the good. And Slevin is in control <laughs> of this play. <laughs> looks all over for the ferret. 
bunting levels up with suits. Oh, the ferret's back level. He piles in a maximum. Slim and then misses three clear. Oh, God, one of the darts at tops is closer to the trouble 20. Harry Houdini from the ferret. And he has it's the okay, darts. to be fair, Aiden. Was a little rushed. What was on the menu last night for you? I had a curry. Chicken tikka. Kate had a chicken boneless thing, and actually that was a lot better. So I wish I'd got the chicken. <laughs> yes, you are right, Anty. Look who turned up. Hang on. I've been working since... Eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> this sled and ferret game is meandering one way, then the next. Dudes beats Hector. Where's that come from? I want to see. But now he'll take on Luke Littler. Love it. From from 113, only Johnny Clayton can leave double 13. <laughs> And he's missed. Johnny Clayton has missed three clear match darts. It happened to Sliven last leg. And then Sliven's missed. <laughs> Do you know what I absolutely love on Twitter? Audi's um, admin. Yo, some of them are brilliant. Clayton beats Levin. But on to it, I'll just get one of them. You might like this. And it's a picture of an advert from M S catalog. With an outdoor like table and chairs. Yeah. And on it is a bottle of Audi wine. <laughs> so they've tweeted at M S drink Audi wine, pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I ended up getting Chinese last night. Ferret hoarding. Um, I saw that I obviously didn't see it, but I saw it today. Yeah, the 10 year old averaging 104. Madness. Um, two seconds, Anthony. I'll tell you what his name was. Just put it in the chat for you. <laughs> Good player. Did Kim Hybrex get knocked out? He did. He lost 6 4 to Rob Cross, who will now take on Dom Taylor.
good run from Taylor today so far. Uh, Jermaine Watamina played. Yeah. Jermaine Watamina played brilliantly to meet Danny Lowry in the last 64. Real, really good. Fair play to ever ref that one. Uh, yeah. Horrific. <laughs> Not for me, thanks. Can you imagine it'd be worse? Well, if, if you're only refing, it's not horrific. But if you're trying to mark it, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Dark Connect makes that a bit easier, but uh, you need a PDC TV subscription, Mark. There's four streaming boards, so you can't watch every single one. It costs you about four ninety nine a month. You can do it through the pdc.tv website. Oh, you're in Portsmouth. You know I've had a bit of right. Not very good ones. Hmm. Um, just had a message from Mr. Duff to um, give you a thing. Um, there's a Vietnamese takeaway on the King's Road in South Sea called Seagon Rice. Unreal. Make sure you tell Gob. So there you go. Interesting. Yes, Mr. Edgar is in the chat. Are you back in the UK, my friends? What a weekend. Just for his airport, isn't he? Isn't he literally getting off a plane and going straight back to Iceland? Sob Iceland a minute. Whoa! No! <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I've seen a walk. I've seen a video of that walk on it. What? They, it, good. But they set the fucking fireworks off at the wrong time. One job. Don't you reckon that They're song would work point. as a dance walk on? Yeah. It'd be. A... There's quite a few that cross over. Um, Edge. Edge, Metalingus. CM Punk, Cult Personality. I've heard that one, but I can't remember who had it. Look in my eyes. Uh. They use Imagine Dragons a lot, don't they? So, um, yeah, I've noticed that. Shocking behavior. Are you back in England, Matt? Or are you still in the States at the moment? Ricky Evans has beaten Ross Smith. He is flying. I'm here for 25. Cool. I will buzz you after the stream, mate. Afternoon, Stephen. Hope you're well. I'm not going to lie, I may have watched the main event back again last night. What, the live lounge? Yeah, great. Good show. <laughs> to be fair, it was a good show last night. I was on form as always. Not joking. There wasn't an awful uh, lot of controversy come. last night. Oh, 
perfect plan, Matt. Perfect. You need to watch Raw. Raw was good last night as well. Uh, Brendan Doan has taken the opener against Luke Humphreys. And warming up on stream board one, Gob. It's going to be Kevin Dutz against this man. Who's that? Who's that? Ever heard of him? That's all right. He's not a dark player. He's not a dark player. <laughs> uh, Joe, the website that the scores are on, mate, it's tv.darkconnect.com. Anthony, I'm sure that could be arranged. Not on this channel. I will delete it. Going price levels up with Jermaine Watamina one a piece. Gary Anderson Gob just averaging a casual 125. By my calculations, that's three 12 dark legs in a row. It's an average of 12 darts a leg, yes. Uh, yes, we will give you going price after this game on the feature. Uh, yeah, he's been on the stream boards, Anthony. God, he's gone four. No, 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 last night, even. Oh, good, Anthony. Thank you. Aidan's won a cocktail as if you needed any more alcohol. You were smashed last night. Stephen Bunting is the last man into last 32. He beats Alan Suter by six legs to four. And from there, we will go to new feature. Going price. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Bit of gezzy on the feature game. Why not? Oh, Gary Anderson, five and up, averaging 115. The average has come down by 10. Shocking. Boo! Is that a mare? Shocking behaviour. That would be the best of the day, though. Gezi one one three earlier on. New Humphreys levels it up with Brendan Dolan to a piece. If he can win the last leg in thirteen or better.
Kian Van Vayne, one nil up on Malaz Razma. Yesterday's beaten finalist, Josh Rock, leads down beverage by two legs to one. I know, Bazer, it really isn't good enough, is it? Uh, Danny Van Tripp doubles his lead on Martin Schindler. It's Gary, average drop, so it must have been a 14. 15. Yeah. Um, Rubbish, isn't it? Shocking. 12, 12, 12, 14, 14, 15. Thanks for coming. It's like the semi final <laughs> World Championship <laughs> all over again. It's absolutely <laughs> done it again. Have a nice day. See you soon. Back to your hotel. Off your trot. <laughs> Yellow class must be sick to death of the sight of Gary Anderson playing good darts against him. That semi-final performance was one of the best Ali Pali performances I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was one it like... Sometimes nine dart has come from absolutely nowhere. But sometimes you can sense they're coming. Yeah, Gary was just ridiculous. It was yeah. ridiculous all tournament, to be quite frank. Yeah, I know he didn't win three in a row, but getting to three world finals in a row is just insane. He was poor on tour that third year as well. Yeah, for his own standards, by the way. Nobody go and wreck, wreck out his year and go, oh, actually won four majors or whatever he did. I saw, I can't remember where it was, a couple more platformers, but someone did like a, a clickbaity richest dark players video and straight away it mm -hmm. was wrong because then Gary Anderson's net or as one point something million. I'm like, he's earned more than that from the World Championships. Yeah. Yeah, but he has spent a lot of it on lakes. <laughs> I'm not a fisherman, but those lakes are impressive. <coughs> and Wi-Fi for the home tour. Let's not forget that. That was still great, because we were the only ones to get a bit of content with him during lockdown. It was brilliant. He definitely complained publicly in the hope that he wouldn't have to play because he lives in the middle of nowhere for some smart ass little media exec to go, Oh, this is a great chance for some publicity yeah. for us. We'll sort you out, Gary. <laughs> We've got you, Gary. Uh, no, Stephen <laughs> Live Lounge was back to last night, back to the normal spot on a Monday. Uh, you can watch it back, it's up available on YouTube. Um, so after we finish the stream today, you've got a couple of hours you can go and go and have a listen. Mondays from eight, buddy. We just moved it last week because of the Euro tour. Andrew Gildin takes the opener against MVG. Danny Van Tripe, three and up on Martin Schindler. And Shindigany played really well last round. This is a pile of averaging 68. Josh Rock, 4-1 up on Darren Beveridge. I scored! Johnny Clayton, tuning up on Richie Edhouse. Survived the... Scared to say the least in the last round. Just a bit. Going price back in front of this man. Yeah. What a meaner. Uh, thought 
thoughts on uh, Harry Kane to score a hat trick tonight and City to win in Madrid? That City Madrid game, I just. It's the worst possible position for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? Because fuck City going back to back, the cheating bastards. And fuck Real Madrid because they're one of the only sides that won it more times than we have. Yeah. So I hope they both lose. Going prize five, three to the good. Uh, AR says opinions on MVG making the Premier League playoffs. I still think I think he gets there. I haven't changed my mind on that. Wrong. Uh, Luke Little three one up on Kevin Dutes. A lot of game you see every day in the last thirty two. Stefan Bauman against Mensal Sulovic. No, but we'll enjoy it. Yeah. I don't I don't dislike it. Josh Rock completes a 6-1 battering of Darren Beveridge. Rocky, yesterday's finalist, is into the last 16. And in the chat room is our friend from across the pond, Mr. Will Stewart. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you are good. Uh, Dane Oppert levels it up with Stephen Burton. Three apiece going price. He's on the verge, unless Watamina... He does pin. Oh, break back. Finished top of the Premier League. Oh, good question. I still think Humphreys will finish top. Uh, absolutely. I can't wait for cross-border this weekend. Who do I want to win the Football Premier League? Man City. You want the biggest cheats this league's ever seen to What's be that? rewarded. You're an idiot. What? Silly boy. You what, were talking sense on it, whatever then. Now you, now you said that, yeah. Why would I pick the other two? Why would you pick a team that cheats in? But are they? If they're found guilty yeah. of these charges, well, are they, at the moment, they've not been found guilty. They've only been charged. If they're guilty, would you take the trophy another... off of them then? What if they're guilty? If they're found guilty, would you retroactively award the Premier League to everybody that finished below them? No. Is that they've broken the rules? No. So you're no. going to reward them then? Yeah, exactly. If you're going to take it off them, if they're found guilty, then fine. I, I stand to your argument. But at the moment, no. I still, don't, I still don't think they'll get punished at all. I don't. I genuinely think they'll get found not guilty. Whether they are or not, it's another issue. The fact they're already talking but, about in luxury tax rather than point suspensions in future years is a joke.
also a financial fine for breaking financial rules is stupid. Yeah. Red Bull exactly the same in the F1. Especially when the rules are designed to stop teams overexerting themselves and going out of business. I agree, but I also don't agree with the FFP rules as they are. I'll come back to that in a second, but Sadansky beat Aspinall 6-3. The reason I don't agree with it is it stops teams coming up from the championship and having a go. Right, because you can't come up and genuinely have a chance and ambition of doing well in the Premiership without overspending. That's a fact. You can't do it. Sheffield United did it. To start with. The first time they come up under... um, What's his name? Wilder. They're still not going down. To bring, the, the, the gap is too big between the Premier League and the Championship. The yes, only way you can bridge that gap is... You need saving from overexertion. It goes both ways, because if they end up back down... But also, if you've got rich owners that want to throw money at it, I don't see the issue. The issue is that if those rich owners suddenly decide to clear off, you will lose institutions. Asp was just beaten by the unranked bus driver, correct? Yeah. Don't want to be a bus driver all my life. Choo-choo! So we will see Gary Anderson against Danny Van Tripp. No other matchups are known as yet. Johnny Clayton, 4 2 up on Richie Edhouse. And Luke Humphreys has just beaten Brendan Dolan in a decider. Humphreys breaks through in it. It's got a while to wait, though. There's still two last 32 games that haven't started yet. Chris Dobe against Stephen Bunting and Daryl Gurney against Carol Sedlacek. Humphreys will play the winner of that first one, Doby and Bunting, but they normally start the 16 all at the same time as well. So there's six players already into the last 16, and they've got to wait for games to start and finish. All right, let's go to the Michael Van Gogh and Andrew Gilding game. Gilding's in front. Let's see if he can stay there. Kevin Dukes is back level with the nuke. Stefan Belmont is back in front against Sudovic as is cross against Taylor. Big moments here. I think he's Mr. Dyer, the ball. And MVG levels up. Don't 
Sonny Clayton and what doesn't look like a great game, if we're being honest. Looks a bit of a bit of a smutty one, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Dubs do. Kevin Dutes, Luke Littler going all the way. As is Dom Taylor and Rob Cross, two huge last leg deciders incoming here. Uh, I can't repeat that on the stream, but Mr. Duff, that's brilliant. <laughs> of course he's about today. It's not a Monday. <laughs> uh, Danny Knoppert, Stephen Burton going the whole way as well. Gilding back in front against Van Gerwen. There's a chance here for Dutes. 106 plays 106, but Littler goes first. Oh, he's missed double 13. It's come inside. Kevin Dutes, one treble, single for double. So knock out the nuke. Oh. Toots deactivates the nuke. The 106 goes. Littler had his opportunity. Missed. Toots steps in. And they now play, looking very likely, Johnny Clayton. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Cross yeah, still the only confirmed matchup in the next round is Anderson versus Van Tripp. Dom Taylor 180 to leave double 11. Rob Cross 66. Scoreboard pressure applied. Or will it be a dead cat 180? Danny Knoppert beat Stephen Burton to set up a match against Gerwin Price. Oh, ho, ho. Rob Cross takes 66 last iron hand. It was a dead cat 180 from Taylor. Uh, no nine darters yet today, but a couple of opportunities. Yeah. Kian Van Main back in front against Madas Erasma as Bunting Doby just getting underway. At the moment, MVG is making no real impact on the Gilding throw. Gilding having it all his own way.
This would be typical. Oh, do you reckon he's missed the dart of the ball? Mm. Ed has his back level with Clayton. In what? One three four. No. I think he's dragged the dart in the one at tops. I don't know what he had. I just saw that. I knew he had three figures to be fair. I didn't even. Gilding back in front. Nah, not from 134. You don't get a dart at the ball. Ed House is back to five apiece. Johnny Clayton is making life very difficult for himself today. Doby and Bunton underway. As Ricky Evans does see off Owen Roloffs. Big true treble visit from Gildan. Uh, Rob, I, I don't know is the honest answer if he knows he has or not. That's a bit of a stinker of a visit from Gilding. Clayton falls over the line against Ed House. This 68 doesn't go. This is the chance for Gilding <clears throat> to dump out MVG at Players' Championship number eight. Should get two match darts. Should have had at least Dumped one out. from the visit before. Bloody hell. What's that? Should have had at least one from the visit before. Yeah, should have. Clayton falls over the line. MVG is out, dumped out by Gilding. Please, Shane, inject it. Right, I'm just going to the loo. Back in a sec. Uh, AR, no, I don't. I just think Taylor was the best all around. He still holds numerous average records and God knows else what. Considering the change in equipment, the focus, where the sport is now, in his pomp, Taylor was untouchable. The head to head record he's got with MVG through the years where we cite MVG as being prime MVG and untouchable and whatever else, the only event Van Gogh has a better head to head in. Against Van Gogh, against Phil Taylor as the Premier League. And that includes two seasons where he tinkered with his darts and he couldn't stop hitting fives. Am I ek, Freddie? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I take it. But I have too many opinions for that. Is Jota or Trent back for Atalanta? Uh, Jota, Trent and by Chetich are all back in training today, but I think Atalanta will be too soon for them. Save them for the weekend, if possible, if not next week. For the return leg, go and get a job done. First, 
Uh, Bunting levels up with Doby, two apiece. Bunting still averaging 110 in that one. Stefan Belmont is a leg away from putting away Mentor. Sulevic, he leads 5 1. Uh, Daryl Gurney, Carol Sedlicek, still three apiece. Humphreys will play the winner of Doby and Bunting. Uh, we know a lot of the draw now, so it will be Humphreys against that game, as I just said. Uh, Anderson will take on Van Tripp. Uh, Rob Cross will play either Belmont or Sulevic, very likely Stefan Belmont. Uh, Josh Rock will take on GM Van Veen. Uh, Radek Zagansky will take on Ricky Evans. Andrew Gildin against Johnny Clayton. Kevin Dukes will play either Daryl Gurney or Carol Sedlicek. And Gerwin Price will play Danny Noppert. Tidy. Tidy. Oh, my. You know that Humphrey's last leg decider over Brendan Dolan? Yeah. He cut a 167 to do it. Oh. <laughs> Big oof. Yeah. Fifty-six to put Gurney a leg away from the last sixteen. I keep saying at the minute, been really, really impressed with Daryl Gurney's form of late. Yeah, he's playing playing some super stuff. Sulevich did get a leg back against Belmont, and. Bunton's average has just dropped to 110. Doby was around the 90s, and then he's just gone 3-2 up. 14, 16, 15, 14, and 11, the legs in that one. How are you doing, Connor? Hope you're good, mate. I'll batter him. <laughs> I'll absolutely batter him. <laughs> He's hinting at my little error yesterday. Oh, Doby kicks off leg seven with a max. Gurney. Probably not going to get the job done here. As said, the check is doing what he needs to on his own throw. Mentor oh, Sulevich. Yeah, breakfast tomorrow. Mentor Sulevich just fighting back here. Mentor Sulevich. So the check gets one back, but this is the one Gurney will target as he has the darts. This is the dangerous game, though, with the scoreline the way it was, because yes, Gurney was huge favourite being in front, but it's that only one break of throw, and then you're back favourite again. It's not like you've got the darts and you've broken, so effectively your opponent needs two breaks. Are you trying to tell me being 5-3 up in a race to six is a dangerous place to be? In terms of it's only one break of throw, yes. 100%. Uh, Stephen Bunting pins 82 to break the Doby throw. Ooh. Is that 12 as well? 
Yeah. One six one for the chin. Oh, Ooh, oh he's made Very a mess of that as well. Yeah. Last start should have been seventeens at least, not nineteens. A settler box. Levels up. And he's now favourite. And more. It's a bit of a stinker. I am still chucking the hemers, yeah. They threw all right last Wednesday. They didn't go so well today. I know you're one that tinkers an, an awful lot. Have you ever attempted to go on one of those dart matching things that different manufacturers do to find your perfect dart or not? I've put what I want into a shop before, not a manufacturer. Just to see what Darts Corner's old website used to have a search feature and you used to be able to sell it how you want certain things. I think, it's like mission do, uh, I think it's Mission do something where they go there and they find your perfect dart with you. Yeah. They certainly do a... Um, I don't know what the word is. Suter did it with them where they tinkered with his setup a little bit. Change length of point and stem, I think, at one point. Um, no. I know what I like in the hand. I think if I ever did anything, it would be to have a word with Matt or Glenn or, or someone just to shore things up a bit. Tops for Gurney for the match. Settler checks made a Settler mess of this. Has only hit two big trebles in five visits. No score. Ooh, Daryl. He couldn't, could he? Could he? Could he check it out? No. Oh. Again. No. Nope. Super chin. I still wish he'd go back to the dude. No. Uh, Oi, BA Freddy. I am crap. I'm a PE teacher now. That's how I describe myself. You know those that can't do teach and those that can't teach do, teach PE? That's me. That's how I ended up as a darts ref. <coughs> Oh my, Toby's left the fish. He did this to the Decker yesterday. What is the single greatest darts checkout you've ever seen? Oh, he missed the ball for the 170. Taylor's one three two was good. Good shout. I think it's situational, isn't it? Sometimes. And actually, what makes a good checkout is often a poor first start. Win Stanley did one. At, was it Blackpool where the couldn't see any of the ball? 
Might have been against Gary. Yeah. Well, one of the best I've ever seen <laughs> was Kyle against Brandon Dolan at the Worlds to win the first set. He wanted 60, dragged it into the big one, hit the treble 19 and then pinged double one in the corner. <laughs> if, he do, if he doesn't hit that, he doesn't win the game at all. That was only the first set, but it was huge. Finally poised in this noble leg. Enjoy, Kevin. Enjoy, mate. Enjoy. Oh, Dobie's blinked. Is that the opportunity Bunting needs? Oh, got away with it. Rob Cross one six one against MVG. He went fifty seven fifty four, didn't he? Instead of treble twenty, yeah. treble seventeen as well. Yeah. Oh, Dobie. Surely Bunting's not going to let him off twice. It's yesterday's winner about to depart. We've seen a one oh six already in this round to knock out Luke Littler. Bunting's left it unless Dobie can raise the roof. I wonder, has he missed one or is the first one out? Let's let the stream catch up. Ooh, Didn't bunting. get a match start. Dobie. I think Bunton's just had one. I would suggest so. From 106. Oh, yeah. He must have. Unless he's missed a big number, but you wouldn't miss a big number in it and even unless you went 20, big four. Leaves oh, he 80, dragged it. No. It's a long way short of tops as well. Yeah. Cleaned up by Hollywood. Hollywood. You enjoyed the flags, didn't you? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just practicing when I'm players marshal next week at the Super Series. <laughs> That'd be miserable and mank to work that role. <laughs> I was winding Smithy up all weekend. It was brilliant. Do you know the way to wind him and the other one up? Just tell him the other one's more miserable than them. <laughs> It's like a badge of honour. So, the last 16 lineup is as follows. Quite oh, some heavyweight ties here. Luke Humphreys will take on Chris Dobie. Gary Anderson will take on Danny Van Tripe. Rob Cross will take on Stefan Bellman. Josh Rock and Jan Van Veen. Alex Sadansky against Ricky Evans. Andrew Gilding against Johnny Clayton. Kevin Dukes against Daryl Gurney. And Gedderin Price taking on Danny Noppert. I don't know what you're on about, Rob. <laughs> So, I would imagine oh, Luke Humphreys, Chris Daly will be stream board one, Gary Price, Danny Knopp at stream board two. Da, 
didn't take long for them to decide that. I don't think they pre-planned it. Do you think Rock will win, will, will win a major title anytime soon? I think he's playing well again. So he has the game to win. What's a major? Anything that's on TV? Unfortunately, Gary Anderson and Luke Humphreys cannot meet in the final because if they both win, they'll meet in the quarterfinals. Already, someone has pressed the warming up button on the iPad. Sadansky against Evans is w -w -w warming up. Give that marker a raise. Too fair. We know it works in the UK. They'll um, they'll be ushering them onto those stages. Don't worry. Go on, get up. I think Gary will win one, Jonathan. Gob's not convinced. I just think the sport is too competitive. I'd love to see him win one. I'd love to see him win the Grand Slam. For two reasons. One, because he loves that tournament. And two, because it means going Price would not be winning an Alders League. <laughs> <laughs> No idea, does. Um, at a guess, I would say in Birmingham this week it will be George and Charlie. Because there's a Euro tour, there's no way George is going to Risa. Pictures on stream board two, Gezi and Danny Nopper. Before I pick the feature game, I'm just waiting to see who's on the other two stream boards. We've got Josh Rock against Ham Van Vane on board number three. Who are they going to put on board four? Dobes. Dobes is on board one. So Gary is on two. No, so Do Doby and Humphreys is board one. Price and Noppy board two. Rock Van Veen three. Board four, we don't know. It's not Gary Anderson because Gary he's just there. gone live. Yeah. So yeah. he's going to speak to Gary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was that's what I was getting at. Gary Anderson. Uh, best average of the day so far. I think it is Gary. 114.15. Andrew Gilding against Johnny Clayton is on stream board number four. Uh, 
Uh, Michael Luke lost last man to Kevin Doot in a last leg decider. Good game. But 6-5 to Hawkeye. Van Veen takes the other against Rock. Fifteen for Jian, fifteen for Gary Anderson, fourteen dart open for Ricky Evans. And eighteen for Nopper. It is. Missed opportunity though from Gary. Uh, yeah, Carl agreed. The run from Andrew Gilding today is out of character from what he's produced recently. Making a mess of this, Gary. But gets another go. Oh, Fourteen dart open for Stefan Belmont to take the opener against Rob Cross. Price levels up with Nopper Clayton. Oops. Big. Okay. There's a couple of stinkers. Gary's averaging 71. Johnny's averaging 65. What's happening here? Is it bad news for right fans after two first rounds? Um, look, there's been signs that he's getting better. Is he still inconsistent? Yes, but I don't think I don't think it's a disaster. Look, of course he'd love to win. He is consistently inconsistent. Yeah. Uh, no, Darren, I uh, moved out of the way swiftly. Yeah, um, yes, uh, Dal, funny enough, we do, because Anthony spoke about it last night. Um, he'd already had prior commitments on when the date was released for cross-border, so wasn't available to defend his title, unfortunately. I didn't watch it today. Was there a load of bounce out today then, Gob? Uh, 
it's not load of, but um, Victor Tingstrom has quite aggressive bounce outs. He throws them very hard, and where it just pings the wire, they bounce back the length of the hockey. He had two in about three visits. And one yesterday, but he's changed his point now. It's just that flat at the end. That doesn't matter. Johnny Clayton has missed a golden opportunity to go 2 0 up, and Gilding does hold. Gary looking for 4 0. Jeff Smith, the lineal champ, yep. Danny Van Tripe takes out the 95. Gary Price levels up with Noppy two a piece in that one. Rob Cross two and up on Stefan Belmont. Relic Sabanski averaging 105. That unranked Polish bus driver is not too bad, Bob, is he? Tidy. And it'll get you where you need to go on time because they're efficient. Dukes and Gurney under way just still waiting for Luke Hummer. Just that's just disappeared off the screen. So we have got pictures on the stream board one between Humphreys and Doby. Gary Anderson 4 1 to the good. Wonder what the longest period writers use the same set of darts for. Not very long. He must have done quite regularly back in the day, but the more recent. Not since 2014. Yeah, right. He's constantly chopped and changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You think when he got to the what first world final, he played, was it the first two rounds of a straight barrel dart, played really well, then swapped to those almost carbon copies of the Taylor Rossos. Yeah. Bizarre. Yeah. So back in the day, yeah, but since 2014, no. Um, AR, I think it's a lot of different things. Um, he had a lot going on away from the hockey as well, um, as well as not playing well on it. I think it's just it's a combination of. Um, it, his shoulder's okay. He's had treatment and he's he's okay. Yeah. 
Spoiler alert, I don't expect to see him in Risa this weekend, though. Gary? Yeah. Is he not really pulled out? I don't know if the official... Yeah. That's what I know. I don't think the... Um... I had a draw. They won't do that until they did a draw, which won't come until later in the week. Once they get yeah. the Pro Tools out of the way. And press the magic button. <laughs> Gary Ellison won away from a place in the quarterfinals. It's not been vintage, but he's just doing a job right now. He's flying through Danny, though, isn't he? Like, Danny Noppert doing a job on going pro despite having an average lower. Yeah. Hey, and Bam Bang levels it up. Again, in terms of numbers, it's a stinker, but it's quite a gripping game. Mm hmm. Two former World Youth finalists, champion Josh. To, and he, he, he's not playing in Risa because he's injured. He always said when he came back to the Euro Tour, he wouldn't go to ones that are a bitch to get to. Yeah. Skansky is a leg away from seeing off Ricky Evans. I really like Ricky's form right now. He's got to do something with it, though. Yeah, I agree. He's playing fabulously well. But if he doesn't convert it into something, it means nothing. Yeah. Another major yeah. appearance this year would be good for Ricky. Yeah. But I also think it's time that he wins a pro tour. To Do, do you know what I mean? He's been around too long. Yeah, yeah. And who's... Do, do, Oh, two seconds. Let, let me answer this. One four two. Ah, uh, that didn't go well, did it? Um, as I was saying, Danny Nopper, a leg away from knocking out Kerwin Price. Brilliant one four two from Gary Anderson to get the job done against Danny Van Tripp. And Ricky Evans is back to within a leg against Radek Sagansky. There we go. Humphreys Doby level at two apiece, both averaging well over the 100 mark. Rob Cross is averaging over 100 as well, 103 to be precise. He leads Stefan Belmont 4-2. Uh, I have a Citizen Eco Drive, Rob. I've had it about 13 years now. I think it was a 16th birthday present. Uh, Mace is back next week, I think. Uh, he is. He's on all week. 
which means more interaction with the chat room. Uh, Radek Zaganski beats Ricky Evans by six legs to four. Me and Phil were just talking about Rapid Ricky, uh, but his run today does end in the last 16. Yes, I wear it all the time, Rob. It's a bit scratched up and battered now, but I do have an Apple Watch, but it annoys me. So... This Humphreys v Doby is a great game. Yeah, 104 average for Chris Doby now as he leads by three legs to two against the world number one and world champion. Cool hand. Jean Van Veen a leg away from knocking out the former world youth champion in Josh Rock. As Rob Cross puts himself in a strong position. 5-2 to the good against Belmont. 107 average in that one. Meanwhile, Kevin Dutes leads Daryl Gurney 3-1 with both players averaging in the mid-70s. So we won't talk about that one. Danny Noppert does defeat Gerwin Price by six legs to three. And becomes the third player to progress to the last 16. So far, Gary Anderson, Sagansky and Noppert. The... Pole of the player to progress with 100 average so far. Going Price actually averaged 101 and finds himself exiting at this stage. Gildin edges in front of Johnny Clayton by four legs to three. And Doby has secured the break. He now leads Luke Humphreys by four legs to two. Still averaging 100 and <laughs> Is it sure yet, Gary? Ask Gary. Uh, you'll have to ask Gary. Turn me up then, Daniel, because I'm not muted anymore. I was. But not anymore. I also apologise for typing. As I've said, I am on one laptop setup instead of my full office. That'll be coming in a few weeks when we get out of this hotel and into our new flat. Giant seagull teddy that she's just won at the arcades included. <laughs> to go with the fucking goose I've got in my living room. <laughs> uh, Andrew Gildin leads Johnny Clayton by five legs to four. Uh, we know half the field for the last 16, yet we do not know any of the matchups. All four players already progressing are awaiting their opponents. Uh, it, it's Katie's place of work, so we are being looked after. Let's put it that way. Uh, Phil is taking a phone call because obviously Philip is on his phone while streaming. I'm going to start banning him. Probably the PDC telling them off for leaking the fat Gary Minor player Euro Tour this weekend.
four each between Luke Humphreys and Chris Doby. Less of that, Rob. Uh, we'll be all right, Carl. I might be putting a darts team in here, so he's happy. Uh, Clayton gets one back, but he is still up against it against Andrew Gildin, trailing five legs to four. Rob Cross is on the hill. 5-3, he leads Stefan Belmont. Kevin Dutz is 4-3 up on Daryl Gurney. Still averaging in the 70s, uh, but he is two legs away from victory after knocking out the nuke in the previous round. And a four-all draw now between Humphreys and Doby. Chris Doby had secured a break of throw. We have a two-leg cushion, but Humphreys has hit straight back. Gildin wins, he goes 14th in the match play ratio. He was up into that spot from his performance yesterday. Uh, Belmont gets another back. Rob Cross now. We'll be looking over his shoulder. All right, who would you like as feature? Uh, I mean, they're all nearly done. We'll have to go Humphreys Doby because it's just ridiculous game. One job. Imagine disappearing for a 20 minute phone call when you're the only one with the controls. It was a call I had to take. Gildin gets the better of Johnny Clayton, who was living a little bit dangerously through the last couple of legs anyway, uh, last couple of rounds. Uh, the ferret, good to see him reaching the last 16 stage, but Goldfinger progresses to the last eight, where he will take on Radek Sagansky. What an opportunity for both of those right now. an incredible game. Toby just tapped Humphreys on the shoulder and says, you have to take this out. And does. Which he does. You don't get to world number one and world champion if you feel pressure over a double eight. <laughs> Not on a pro tour anyway. 140 from Hollywood. Last leg decider. You just know it's going to be good, don't you? Is it advantage, Humphreys? No. It is now. Because now he needs at least one treble on the ball. Yeah. I say it was until that. What a game this is. He finds the ball, though. 
He's just gone trouble 19, single 19 ball for the like, 126. Brilliant. He would have left 170 if he'd hit the 25. Doby doesn't go. He must have missed first start, switches down, only gets one treble, not two. Humphreys, the 145 for the match. Doesn't get a dart. Should get at least Ooh. one at tops. So we'll be hoping for two at double 16. Doesn't go. And it's double 12, the double that won Gary Anderson. Two world championships. Oh, what a performance from the one and one world champion. He's still got it. And now we get to see him go up against Gary Anderson in the next round. I just want to see what the embrace is like between the pair. I know, I know, I know it's going to be good. But yesterday's champion is out. How far away was his start at top stoving? Freezing. Not close enough. Belmont beats Cross. Belly's got him. He's 5 3 down. Gurney has the darts in this decider. What a last leg this is from Dutes. The red pen leg is on for Gurney, but it may not matter. 81 after nine for Dutes. If this is a ton, I don't want Dutes to get it. But that's all right, you're fine now. The five ton leg. Is this Dukes' moment to KO Gurney? It is. Chin's gone. Not quite as an impressive fashion as when Dutes beat Luke Littler in the previous round, but he is in to the last date where he will take on the freeze, Danny Noppert. It's an interesting lineup. There is one standout game. Let's not hide it. Luke Humphreys will take on Gary Anderson. Then we have Stefan Belmont against Jan Van Veen, Radik Sadansky, Andrew Gilding, and Kevin Dutz against Danny Nopper. If you'd have picked that last eight, I salute you.
Well, they reckon chat room. Who wins from here, then? This time yesterday, I picked the correct final, but with the wrong winner. I picked the correct final with the right winner. But you're not allowed within 200 yards of a school, so I win. (laughs) Uh, Danny Noppert beats... Luke Humphreys in the final. Hart versus head. Hart says, yeah, I said Gary Anderson at the start of the day, so I can't change my mind. The dang, I think he's got a tough Simon against Luke. Um, Gary Anderson beats... Danny Nopper in the final. Ooh. Ooh. What are you? The I'm starting times of featured groups. The featured groups for the Masters. Yep. Uh, John Rahm, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Nick Dunlap. Wyndham Clark, Victor Hovland, and Cameron Smith. Tiger Woods, Jason Day, and Max Homer. And Dustin Johnson, Colin Morikawa, and Tommy Fleetwood. I also believe Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy, and Xander Schauffele are playing together. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's brutal. DJ Morica and Fleetwood last out. The Gala, Aberg and Spieth. Tom Kim, Brooks Kepka, Brian Harmon. Adam Scott, Sam Burns, Cameron Young. Well, that could be an interesting one. Keegan Bradley, Matthew Pavon, and Tyrrell Hatton. That's ridiculous. Um, I haven't seen season one, Anthony. I'm not a massive TV person. But if you recommend it, I'll add it to my list and I'll try and get it done. So, getting ready for quarterfinal action in Leicester. Uh, 
Uh, you, you weren't impressed with the um, post that Julie tagged me in yesterday either, were you? Grow up. <laughs> How are we doing, Jim Jim? Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy, Jim Jim Drew. I like what I like, and I like what I do. Uh, yeah, Luke lost to Kevin Dutz, 6 5. Really good game. For 70 degree here in NYC. Can't wait to be back in New York at the end of May. Still can't believe you won't send me instead. Scotty, are you based in NYC permanently? Steve Beaton's not retiring. He's going to plan the seniors tour. He's giving back his tour card. There's a difference. Retiring from professional darts. Not darts, as Kevin Painter said. I disagree with that statement. Is he going to do anything else to earn money? Is he gonna is he gonna do anything else to earn money other than play darts? No. Then he's still a professional dart player, isn't he? But not playing at professional level. Disagree. Richie House is a beast. Uh Scotty, cool. To give you a heads up, something you might be interested in. Let me get the date. I know Anthony is in the chat room as well. Wednesday, the 29th of May, uh, OD and the CDC are going to do a bit of a live stream from New York. So pencil that one in your diaries. Looking forward to it. Thanks for the invite, boys. <laughs> this is me sat in the corner sulking. <laughs> All you've got to do is pay for my flights. I've even got accommodation for free, but you're tight. You'll be refereeing. You're Mr. Big Time. Refereeing where? Super Series. I don't think so. No, that's um Rugby 
the next specials week. Yeah. Expecting a fairly quick turnaround. We have pictures on stream board number four. And I'm breaking the rules for our feature game this time. There's only one. Sadansky Gilding is underway. Yes, Anthony, you know, Gary, Gary. That will be our feature game. Uh, Noppet and Dutes underway as well. Quarterfinals are here. We have pictures on that one as well. Let's go. And Gary starts with a max. Oh, hello. Hello. Here we go. Here we Gerald! go. Watching from Holland and Maldives and uh, lovely stuff. Noppy takes the opener against Dutes. Anderson tees up tops. One nil to Anderson, break of throw. Belmont takes the opener against Van Meen. Rolls reverse from the last leg. Humphreys kicks off with a max. Just 
Just think, this could be round one of the match play. That's ridiculous. Yeah. One seven one left hand though a finish. This would hurt if this goes. Doesn't so Humphreys coming back should break straight back and make it one apiece. And does level game. Danny off at two that up on Tiny Dukes. Tiny. Sorry, I'm making a meme. You are a meme. Thanks. Anderson had a great leg one, but legs two and three have been a bit stinky so far. Sadansky gilding tied at one apiece. I thought Sadansky's been superb today. Mm hmm. And probably should be going to the match play, but won't be. I don't like... He's been the unlucky the last game. year or so, hasn't he? What's that? Been unlucky, any? he? Like I said, he really should have been in that Polo World Cup team. Yeah, I, I don't like the rule that... I understand it, that he lost his tour card, mm -hmm. so his money's reset. But the match play ranking is done out of sync to everything else because of the way the tournament is. So yeah. you should keep that rank that ranking money for the match play. I agree. Danny Nopp is flying by the way. Yeah. You're flying with a wind. Watch him. Belter. Oh, West Love's finest work. Anderson looking at 70 to level up. Doesn't go. So Humphreys looking at the fish for 3 1. Doesn't go. Anderson coming back at tops. Level game. Kevin Dukes has one on the board. Something to build on against Noppy. It's freezing. Need a couple Anderson of trebles needs. in this one. I won forty just to get back into the leg. Nope, three two to Luke. Moving on. <laughs> No score. Might as well have been. 34. How has he done that? I've got, to, I've got to watch the stream here. Uh, 
Ah, oh, the old big 20 single seven, single seven way. Of course. My... Oh, <laughs> grouping. <laughs> my, my fault for not thinking of that. I agree. You are an idiot. Yeah. And three, two to cool hand. Normal service resume. Not be four one to the good. One hundred and twenty one. Ninety five. Danny Nopper is flying. 4 1 up. There was only one Don't Dutch really player not. at this stage yesterday and zero Scots. They reset that. They cone half the field right now between them. Along with a pole and a Swiss. This is a fabulous game between Anderson and Humphreys. Anderson looking at tops for three apiece. Dare not miss. Missed. Advantage, Humphreys. Uh, we're in trouble. Oh, I didn't expect that. Lifeline for Anderson. Made a mess. Luke's not going to give him a second go. 4-2 Humphreys. The writing is on the wall as he kicks off with a max. Alberto Moreno wrote it. He says, get out. They're both on nines. Just a bit, Derek. I'll see you Saturday, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there Friday night if you fancy a truck. I've not got a pairs partner yet. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play in it, you know. It's open, but I am running it. Dodgy drawing coming. It'll be on a computer and someone else can press the button. <laughs> one, two, one to stay alive, really. Doesn't go and a two dark combination for a five two lead. Lifeline for Anderson. This would be to get the break back. Don't forget he is two down though, effectively. Yeah. Because he lost the balls off. Oh, now we're talking, Dell. I'll see what I can arrange. We'll just have to beat people quickly so that I can get the next games on. That's the plan. Or give someone else a microphone. We'll see. Anyway, elsewhere, Jim Van Veen leads Stefan Belmont by four legs to one. Andrew Gildin is three top on Red X. Gansky was winning that to start with. Over a ton plus average. And Danny Knopper is still getting the better of Kevin Dutz. Team nine incoming, Derek. We missed, we missed the double, well, I missed the double four in Newbury last time. Shocking behaviour. Yeah, let's have a look at yourself. <laughs> I 
I'm happy I hit the first treble, if I'm being honest. When the second one went in, I was positively crapping myself. Fez. <laughs> but again, Anderson on a big combination due to one slack visit. Humphreys, his favourite to go within one here. That pressure doesn't apply to Derek. He hits nines all the time. Oh, I just had another one in practice. All right, show off. The 108 goes. Oh, that hurts. That hurt a lot. The break, the two leg cushion is restored. Humphreys is now a double break up and throw in for the match. Danny Knopper is in a similar position. He leads by five legs to two now. Less of that, Malachi. Can't be doing that on the same weekend as the Torre Melinos Open, can I? The old Torre Melinos. Anderson not done yet. Back to within one. Sadansky front against Gilding. Kevin Dukes not done yet. Every time Anderson gets within one, Humphreys finds another gear at the moment. That's still not enough, really, is it? You needed to be on a finish at this point. Yeah, Luke's got six at 227. 134, 140, 180. Might only need five. Brutal. From the world I'm champion. Tons, yeah. Leave a very makeable finish in 74, but I don't think he's going to get a look at it. Of course, not What's 11 dart leg from Luke Humphries to get over the line. Superb. Uh, Belmont's back to within a leg against Jean Van Veen. I think this is the uh, the Kevin Duke Daryl Gurney of the previous round. We don't talk about that anymore. Uh, Sagansky leads Andrew Gildon by four legs to three. Nopper. back. Would you like Van Veen or Sadansky as feature? Sagansky, because it's got a G in it. What, the unranked Polish bus driver? Yes. Radek, if you or your friends or family are listening, we are. We're not taking the piss out of you, by the way. It's the media. Yeah. I think you're fabulous. With your bold head. Go on, Danny, sir. Danny Noppert is into the semi-finals. The what? Semi-finals. Right, try again. Semi-finals. One more time, but do it properly this time. The round of four. You're an idiot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anthony was on the show for 35 minutes last night and you can't even say semi properly. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <Anthony. laughs> Four each between Belmont and Van Veen. Gian is up against it now. Not taking advantage in the early stages. Is Belly going to get him? Do we get a poll for the semis? Um... If Phil sorts it, I might be able to. You'll only tell me off for typing if I do it, so. I'll sort everyone. I've got you. Fun job. Shocking behaviour, really. One kiss is all it takes. Falling in love again. Not with you. <laughs> Killed him one away. Time for the bus driver to go through the gears. He looks very much like a dark player that I know back in Nottingham. Who I once had an argument with. He's not a dark, like a local league player. Um, I once had an argument with because we were playing on a building where there was three boards. We were on the furthest board to the right. And obviously I stand quite far to the right. There's a sofa behind us. So you can't really get past properly. And I was like, any chance you can walk the other way? No, this is how they do it on TV, so this is how I'm doing it. I walked straight down the hockey at him every single visit for the next three legs. <laughs> every single... <t> <laughs> Oh, the four horsemen of darts. Oh, who would your who would yours be, Gob? I don't get the reference. We'll educate him after the quarterfinals are finished. Is it similar to Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Taylor. Are we just picking our best foot? Like, I don't really. Yeah. I'm going to need more context. What am I picking the top four on, basically? <laughs> Darren, well, I'm sort of at the poll. Educate, Gob. Also, if my good friend and colleague Henry Deacon is listening, I'm going to kick you very, very hard. Any context? Yeah, he said I was 30 while on stream earlier. I've got two noble legs going on. Gave me a really nice spiel yesterday to the audience of the Super Series. And then said I was 30 years old today. Getting a slap. Colin Osborne was furious to find out the age gap between myself and him.
Robert Thornton in jest earlier told me that they've had better referees. That's harsh of Robert. So I informed, so I informed him I've ref for better players. <laughs> I like Rob. He's got Robert yeah. Thornton's got a cracking sense of humor. He's another one that just that never gets translated properly anywhere. Yeah. He's not the most comfortable in media or interviews. So like that just never comes across. The Polish bus driver has done it. Is Colin close to senior age? I'm it, it's one I'm keeping an eye on, Derek. Don't you worry. Where's it where's my list gone? He's 48. He'll be 50 in two years' time. He'll be 50 next year. Does anyone know that what's happened one. to Justin Pye? No. He's 52 years old. Van Veen pins 60. Belly's out. Yeah, there's some interesting names approaching 50. Or well, already over the age of 50, actually. And the poll is up for you, everyone. Got the count. We do. Um, so, semi final lineup will be Luke Humphreys taking on Ham Van Vane. Aromatic Sadansky will take on Danny Noppert. Interesting. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Pipe's best. It was unbelievable. Would you like to hear the name of the names of darts players that are either fifty or approaching the age of fifty that don't currently play seniors? You mean? Oh yes, or just in general. So Steve Beaton is fifty nine. Mervyn King is fifty seven. Mensor Sulevich is fifty one. Barney is fifty six. Peter Wright is fifty three. Gary Anderson is fifty three. Simon Whitlock is fifty four. De Souza, 50. Ronnie Hybrex, 58. Gildan is 53. Dolan is 50. Mickey Mansell is 50. Ian White is 53. Graham Usher is 50, if he doesn't manage to retain his tour card. He'd be a great... Mario Van Der Mark. Is that him? He'd be a great acquisition. Mm -hmm. Mario Van Der Bohada. Uh, also, fifth over fifty, but haven't played a lot. Or oh, Andy Bolton is one. He's we've seen him recently. James Wilson is fifty-two. Uh, Peter Jakes is fifty. Darren Webster is fifty-five, and Justin Pipe is fifty-two. And then the approaching fifty club, uh, Darius Labanowskis is forty-seven. As is Jamie Caven. John O'Shea is 48. Johnny Clayton is 49. Van der Voort, 48. Colin Osborne, 48. And Jeff Smith, 48. I'm watching you all, you near pensioners. <laughs> Jesus. Johnny Clayton was the third oldest in the last 16. The problem with Jabba's walk-on song is it is literally the senior's version of Chase the Sun. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that song so much as well. <laughs> uh, Lloyd uh, is 50 now, but I don't think he's playing anymore. 
I don't think he's got any interest in playing in putting well, himself in that environment again. Nine. You know, yeah. like a, I, I know it's yeah. There was nine. Not the same. Him but it's still competitive. Yeah. Uh, is this like the card from the king when you turn 100 when a dark player turns 50 they get a knock at the door from yeah like that just for men advert dad it's time and just me <laughs> with, a, with a tour card yeah Uh, to be fair, when Glenn speaks really openly about his fall at the, the top level, and it was nothing to do with him getting COVID. It was, he knew there was a, an issue before he got, but I know, I know it timed well with COVID in, in ECT, but it was, it was weird how it all happened, wasn't it, God? Like, in the click of a yeah. finger's. I think it was coming anyway. Yeah, I, I agree. Bizarrely, the transition to a full-time pro started the downturn. Thursday, Maliki. Yeah, I... I th- I think Glenn going full time pro actually hurt Glenn's career. Possibly. He was just left with so much thinking time. He had the. What? Well, how should we describe it? The to and fro with Mr. Edgar on social media for a while. Then got told to come off social media. He had a job, gave that up. And he's a player who, to get to three world championships, or to get over the hump in the BDO the first time around, had already worked with a sports psychologist. I, I get and then that, left but... the man at home with no distractions whatsoever, constantly analysing and overthinking the smallest initial drop-off. And I get that, but you can't be a serious contender in the PDC and not and have a full time job. It's impossible. You can't do it. I don't. I'm not saying Glenn needed a full time job. What Glenn needed was a distraction. A, A distraction, I'd go with. Yeah. He needed something to keep his mind occupied during the week on the downtime. It was, Rob, but the DRA didn't see it that way and warned them both. Yeah. Allegedly. (laughs) (laughs) He got the old allegedly back out. For how close to the line it was a few times. <laughs> yeah. Right, everyone, semi final time. The first one now is all up already. The PDC. <laughs> Everyone, the poll is up. Get involved. Let's 
That's what I was looking for that. Uh, right, everyone, we are getting ready. Stream board one will be Humphreys against Van Veen. Stream board two, Sadansky against Norpod. Uh, Joe, sadly, I don't. I just think that once he loses his card, will he have the drive and the will to go back to Q school? I don't think so, Gob, do you? No. Nil poire. Nil poire. Du beau fati, du fati, ready. Do we get Martin Lincoln on the Orator this weekend? Did he qualify? Don't, no, drop us have a look. Please. How old is AD? Not old enough to make my list. <laughs> <laughs> 39. Yeah. He is two months older than Gerwin Price. I am afraid there is no Martin Lukeman on the Euro Tour this weekend unless he is first reserve. Okay. Well, firstly, that's very disappointing. Secondly, that's my thing. Get your own. <laughs> it's the politest so, way I could put that. So, yeah, I don't know if he's the first reserve or not. The tour card holder qualifiers were as follows. Mike Decker, Callum Ridd, Mervyn King... Richie Eddowes, Yitzi Van der Vool, Owen Bates, Simon Whitlock, Cameron Menzies, William O'Connor, Richard Vingstra. Whitlock? It's an interesting bunch, that. We do get to see Cor Decker, though. No. Who do I think wins from here? Uh, Luke Humphreys. Danny Knopper. Um, both of you other hobbies? Yeah, God likes to drink. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> That's not my only hobby. Didn't say it was. I just said I it was one of them. I golf a little. I've played pool at a decent level. I need to get back into playing football. Um, I'm not going to tell you the other one. (laughs) 
Yes, I do like WWE. Also known as a gay male soft porn addiction. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the minority, God. Wrestling is cool. I'm a 29-year-old white male. Of course, a bit of minority. <laughs> 2024, I'm a press. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Before anybody comes at me. Uh, Lisa says, opinions oh, on Gary cricket. Today. I like cricket, yeah. And also Belmont. Uh, I think both had really good days. Um, Gary's wasn't really a surprise because he's played well all year, but Stefan Bauman's run, very, very good. Mm. Yes, cricket. Which is amazing because it's the only sport in the world that revolves around meal times. Yeah, but we can't play if it rains. Not safe. Yes, I am 29. Allegedly. Wise head on young shoulders. You're going to be in the bottom of the trend in a minute, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send the boys round. That's Bridgeford, is it? Yeah, I remember. You need to end the poll now. I'm just queuing up the other. And we have ended the poll. And Luke Humphrey, 61% of you think it's going to be the cool hand of Luke Humphreys. You are all entitled to your incorrect opinion as he goes 1 0 down. They've always had women's wrestlers, Darren. I'm aware of that. Some of us had SmackDown versus Raw in 2000 or something that allowed you to play Brian Panties matches. Could you imagine if they tried to bring that back? <laughs> Ridiculous. Trish Stratus days. Jan Van Veen is in a 2-0 lead against Luke Humphreys. Those averages just shot up. Hold up.
Yeah, half a million and that was me, James. Because he was officially <laughs> prime boy. It's an well, you're not a... The problem is, you drink Monster, but you're clearly not a monster in any department. <laughs> Usyk batters him. What on earth does that mean, Scotty? <laughs> Luke Humphreys has a leg back. It's only a hole of throw, but he has something to build on. Also, let's be honest, James. If we were to ever get a sponsor of that magnitude, it wouldn't be Prime who have access to the biggest content creators on this platform, would it? Oh, yeah, let's give these darts boys a crack. Nah. If you do own a business and are interested in sponsorship, though, please do get in touch. We can make even more content for you. Yeah. Step closer to having our own studio. Or you could just go on my shirt, the Super Series. I'm allowed to sponsor as a referee. Be seen on Telebox. Bitch. <laughs> I'm not just saying this, love the darts, but I will batter him. Like a big baby. Yeah, yeah. Dane Offit tees up the big fish and Humphreys in the blink of an eye is level. <laughs> this is what Luke does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Give me the green light. Who sings that, Phil? Me. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> you didn't say that. You said who sings it. You didn't. <laughs> who is the original creator of that song? Pitbull. What can leave him to it then? <laughs> Danny Noff at 3 0 up on Sadansky. Humphreys, three on the spin. He has turned it around against Van Bean. Danny Knopper, 140 to go 4 0 up and over halfway there. Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. Van Veen wants the same to level up. What is that? What is that?
Van Veen does level Van up. Van Veen does level up, though. Three of Jeez, these. shut up. You shut up. Come on, punch him. I'll batter you. You keep saying that, but there's no evidence to support this. You wait till tomorrow, mate. You walk in that room at a Super Series. Bang! I'll be there before you. You were never there before me. That's what you think. You wait till tomorrow, mate. <laughs> uh, 4-0 to the threes. There'll be two noises on the camera. Me hitting you and you hitting the deck. One of my favourite, I shouldn't say favourite, one of my memories of playing county was when Andy Jenkins sparked out Eric Bristow at a county game. Hilarious. <laughs> it's what we do, boss. It's what we do. Fuck him up. To be fair, he knows I'm right about the Super Series. I'm in, set up, had what? breakfast by the time he even gets in. You do that before I get out of bed, mate. <laughs> Then I rock up, prat around in a bullseye challenge, go and get some breakfast from down the road and start working at half nine. You carry on, mate. <laughs> Professionalism. Yeah, I'm there on time when I do my job. What more do you want? When you say do your job, that's loosely. Check. Hey. <laughs> 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 Uh, Van Veen, Humphreys, four apiece. Well, one, two, four for Noppy. We'd give him a 5 0 lead. He's missed the ball. Not a single one of those today, by the way, again. And yesterday it was a fucking player's name. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> well, there was an 86. It was actually an 85 and something else. Oh, no, it wasn't even me. It was the scalper. <laughs> Oh, and then I tried to sell Robert Thornton. He required 180 yesterday. <laughs> I like that. Did, did, did he laugh? It was the game after he told me I was rubbish as well. I was like, yeah, this isn't helping. <laughs> um. And then he took the mic afterwards, yeah. But it's so good. It's all good. Um, so, boss, it depends what you're looking for. There's a travel lodge, literally a five minute walk. Or if you want something a bit nicer, there's a Marriott, probably five, six minutes in a cab. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the Jimmy Ranchki, count to five in your mic. And he thought he said mind is one of the best clips I've ever seen. <laughs> Considering that's how his night started and it ended up with him lifting the trophy and saying, Mo, this is fucking massive. <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of that. He had me cracking up all weekend. <laughs> The last time he was there, I refed his week and he was in Group C, I think. So he decided to go out and about in Portsmouth um, in the evening on the Friday when he'd already been eliminated. Yeah. And as we finished the Friday night shift, he's just trudging out of Weatherspoons on his own. <laughs> 
just Bro. halfway down the London road. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> And me and Humphreys level again. Uh oh, here we go. Uh oh, Gerard. What a man. I love darts. Van Veen's gone from playing like an absolute drain in the quarterfinals to the Van Veen we all know is there against the world number one. It happens. Oh, completely. I saw a 40-point gap in an average for a player yesterday. <laughs> I just got to be fair, look, I know he's not played well here, but Sadansky's played well all day, to be fair to him. Just that he's up against the Noppet. Two slack visits have opened the door for Van Veen here. What a time to break this would be. I think we already know who's winning the other game. Danny Noppert leads six legs to one. Yeah. In the final, when Danny Noppert will face Van Veen. Oh, that hurts. Ooh. That stings. Ouch. Which way does he go? Oh. Trouble 20 right Under in the, the middle. Under the max and the max. They're both on nines. Pian may miss. Luke may hit. Too early. To be fair, this semi final probably deserves a last leg decider. They've both been superb. Yeah. But Humphreys has left a ton to win it. 109 in the previous. He's missed two at oh. it. Missed two match starts. Meanwhile, Radek Sagansky has a leg back. Needs another five. Gian! Fluffed his lines. Ooh. But so is Humphreys. Ooh. What's going on here? Wait. Madness. Not breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what a video. <laughs> and we do get a decider. Oh. Humphreys has the darts. I know he starts 41. Chance. Right, if she had only scored something like 45 here and someone asked you the question, who's winning at that point, who would you say? Pian. Ignore the one at the start. <laughs> if, he'd, <laughs> if he'd scored 45, it's a bit like in cricket edit when someone goes, yeah. who's winning? Actually, that advantage of throw means Luke's still favourite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
but is he winning <laughs> when he's technically three points behind in the deciding leg? Nop at once, double six. We'll we'll get to that one in a minute. That fifty five is a two, nightmare, two. by the way, because it meant you have to switch around again. If it's a fifty seven. You could have stayed straight. Nop at wins. He's in the final. He's been steady today. Yeah. Two trouble visit goes favourite. That is a disaster. Doesn't help a great deal. <laughs> We've effectively given Luke six starts from here. Unless, Jian, you can hit a treble 20, a treble 19, and the bull! Has he missed a bull? Is he at an eight? I don't or has know. he just we'll, hit a five we'll and the stream in two up. trebles? Oh, he's we'll hit a five and two stream. trebles. Doesn't matter. Luke Humphreys will take on Danny Noppert in today's final of Players' no, Championship, the, number eight. The first start was in a five, and he just crashed two into the trouble 20. Yeah. That's annoying. There we have it. Today's final. Time for another poll. Quick fire. If we get more votes on that and we've got likes on the stream, we're not going to do the final. So if you're doing one and not the other, I'm going to find you, hunt you down. You heard the man. Like, love the darts. I know where you live. Poll has started. Get involved, everyone. Another window I can close down. Stream board two is finished. I've not had any open all day. That's right. That's why I'm here. I thought you were here to just sit on your phone. And that. Or is that just when I'm not looking? I should you're not looking. The irony that you're looking straight at your phone as I've said that as well. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I didn't even look up. I just answered you whilst carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Um, Luke Humphreys, Danny Noppert in the final. Uh, uh, Do they toss uh, a coin now for which board to use? No, it's just always on board one. No, that's just on a tablet, you know. That doesn't actually mean board one. No, it's because it's on the finals on stream board one. Oh. The, the final is always oh, on stream board number, number one. You're breaking the rules of our chat room, so we're not going to post that. Behave, Mr. Ward. Yes, Matthew. We have certain words blocked. Anyway, hope you are good. Hope your land days was all right. In the chat room, drop us your score predictions. Uh, Kelly, you can watch the final on pdc.tv. Uh, that's better, Matthew. There's a good boy. <laughs> uh, dart, darts is great. It was a good weekend of darts. York was banging. <laughs> Are you okay, Matt? Would you like a hug? You okay, hon? Shouldn't you be off tweeting trying to get Ricky Evans sponsored by J2O as well? Or 
Too bad, I'll show that. I don't mind that one. <laughs> yes, Adam knows the drill. Will the freeze finish the story? <laughs> I'll finish your story in a minute, mate. <laughs> uh, fucking hand chat me. You know what to do. <laughs> I know where you live. I don't know where you live as well. No, you don't. <laughs> it's in the ma- that's in a figment of your imagination. <laughs> I'm technically homeless right now. Uh, Joe Gurney overtakes Dolan in the rankings um, for the World Cup uh, position. Nailed on. No, not nailed. Not at all. The gap's only small still. Well, don't talk about Daryl. That'll upset Matt even more. <laughs> he doesn't manage him anymore, does he? So he don't care. That's what I mean. So now he's playing well again. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the basement. Like, do you remember? That was funny. Dan didn't move from that basement, did he? Good times, good memories. Adrenaline. Shouldn't be too long till the final starts. Both of them likes to get on with it. Remember, everyone, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Cooking along nicely, trying to get to 36k as quick as possible. And then the next milestone will be 40k. Uh, I think Roman will be gone for a little bit, um, Joe, not too long. Um, he might go off and do a little bit of Hollywood, a couple of parts like that. But he'll be back. What the fuck? Luke Littler has just been recognised by Forbes in the Sports and Games 30 Under 30 for Europe in 2024. Yeah, I saw it earlier. That's ridiculous. Massive. Just in case you're Uh, wondering, Luke Humphries is also under 30. Uh... Kelly, the final will probably be in the next five minutes. Starting. Mind you, you know the picture of Luke on that Forbes thing? I bet he hate dressing up for that. Yeah. I know he watches. I love Luke's a bit, but no Under Armour in sight. There's definitely a Stone Island badge hidden somewhere, though, isn't there? <laughs> also, he used to watch. He's big time now.
know, I know Max in the chat room, he got a nice bit of darting memorabilia yesterday. Big fan. What was it? He has the belt. Child. <laughs> Coming to an auction near you very soon. Also, me and Mr. Edgar going to the O2 next Friday night for SmackDown. Mr. Edgar and I. No. Children. <laughs> so is there 20,000 children going to watch is there yep you shouldn't be near any of them <laughs> because of the incident Is the app for uh, what app? PDC TV or Dark Connect? Uh, Dark Connect. The, the apps are free. You need a subscription free. to watch on PDC TV. Dark Connect is free, but you're better off watching the scores online. Oh, yes, a very big incident, Bobby. I was cleared of all charges. The incident he's referring to is the fact that myself, Dan and Jar all stayed up to watch WrestleMania. He didn't approve. Correct. Funny though. Speaking of, while we're talking about charges, did you know a DBS check doesn't actually prove you're not a nonce? It just means you haven't been in court yet. Yeah, you look at it like that, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just putting that out there. I was sure earlier, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say which one, I'm not going to get in trouble, but I was sure under a player's breath earlier, they referred <laughs> to themselves as a month after missing a data double. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. I questioned them after. I said, no, I said, knob. Uh, but I was like, what on earth? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I was like, nah, that, one, that one's a bit far, isn't it?
Thanks for coming to my TED talk on nonces. The final is warming up. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jack. Get I'll on with it, boys. Uh, I won't. This is the last time I'll be streaming this week. I will be. I believe the dynamic duo of Dan and Cam return for Thursday night's live lounge at Fallout I Park. Believe, Jesus Christ. I believe so, yes. And if not, well, I'll just volunteer them for it anyway. <laughs> It won't be me. I'll be reffing. Here we go, Gob. Game on. Noppy's won the ball. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourselves in. I'm going to end the poll with Luke Humphreys, the unanimous victor in the poll. Why have you just sent photos of wrestling t-shirts to that group chat? I sent it to the wrong one. Yeah. Clearly. I like the sound of that, Anthony. Mm, guess it depends on your marketing team and what the purpose of the matches are. Like in Q Sports, money matches are still quite big over here. We didn't really get them in darts. We had the challenge belts, didn't we? But to be fair, the money matches yeah, used to be big. Yeah. Oh pleasure, mate. Oh pleasure. Glad to have you along. Early break opportunity for Humphreys. Uh, the short answer is no, because we're not in the more flexible software. One drop is all it takes. <clears throat> One zip. And it was a break. Ooh. Ominous signs. I'm not sure you need something to defend, Anthony. You just need a reason for them to be playing each other.
a reason that people want to come and watch those individuals compete with each other. Almost like a wrestling promo. Oh, some of the promos at Mania were incredible. It's just acting, though, isn't it? It's just, just EastEnders in underwear. Bit like Mo Salah. The he outcome of what Mo Salah does is throws himself on his the floor outcome isn't, His outcome isn't predetermined. It is. If it so was, we'd get a lot more run. fucking. We'd get a lot more penalties than we actually do. Trust me, I'd be writing scripts left, right, and center. <laughs> Two nil. You feel Noppy needs to get something going here because once Humphreys is a mile in front, you're not catching him. Especially not with the mentality that people are chasing Luke Humphreys in a minute. He's been so dominant of late. You just don't feel like you ever will catch him. Notice as well that Noppy's switched to an aggressive point. Because his darts used to go in and flop, didn't they? Yeah. But notice that at the last block of Pro Tools, he's using an aggressive point now. Oh, well, that's a little bit good from Noppy. One, two, six, and game. That'll do nicely. That gets him into the game. Let's let the stream catch up. Was it the ball or was it first treble 19, second treble 19, followed by double six, game shot. What gave that away? The fact we'd already seen it on Dark Connect. He's on a nine! If this is the first oh, time I ever call a nine on stream, I just reacted like that, pratted around, I'd be livid. <laughs> oh, God, I've done one before. This is your moment. Take it away. It's not, because he's going to score 89. Go on, Luke. <laughs> 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 oh, Christ's sake. There is no lottery tonight, Sky. It's a Wednesday draw in the UK, not a Tuesday, surely. Anyway, Luke Humphreys leads this final three legs to one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough, Scotty. Yeah, no, no lot redraw. It's Wednesdays and Fridays in the UK, or Wednesdays and Saturdays, lot redraws. The Euro Millions as well, isn't there? Well, I don't fucking know. Oh, 
Good sure reply from if he takes this out. I'll... Oh, he's missed the ball. So if he takes that out, we might as well all just go home. Yeah. Hold from Knopper, but he does still trail by a break of throw. Mystic Meg's got fuck all on me, lads. This one's going in. You call it. Not yet. No. Oh, there's Euro Millions tonight. Oh, in that case, get me some numbers, lads. <laughs> we have two from the get top him. and four little ones. See, that was cold. You just dropped the countdown reference. Danny Nopper, 85 for three apiece. Oh. Missed the ball. Or doesn't get the the ball. It's for a level game. Noppy's back in this. Back on throw. Oh dear, all that work. And then he leaves the back door wide open. Yeah. Not his finest. Boo. I'm 29 years old, sat booing a laptop screen because the number isn't 40 higher. You questioning your life choices right now? Yeah, just a bit, mate. <laughs> After Noppy did all the hard work, Humphreys is about to break again. Like, how? Yeah, this is a full on confidence crisis. How on earth did I get to this point? <laughs> oh. Chance for Noppy. Said he left the back door open. You still slam your foot in it. It doesn't go. Didn't expect that. Cheers, Ed Sheeran. No, I'm not sure it was an Ed Sheeran song. Who sang I wasn't expecting that? <laughs> I was going to say, it's definitely not an Ed Sheeran song. Noppy leads 4-3, halfway to the magical number. Oh. Someone called Jamie Lawson. Never heard of him. Oh. 
True, David. Humphrey. True. Humphrey's just lacking something at the moment. I know he's averaging a ton, but it doesn't feel like it. Do you know what I mean? It feels like he's gone off the boil. Hmm. I still think he's got that two or three leg spurt in him, hasn't he? I mean, you, you won't want to find yourself two, three legs behind here. If not, but breaks here and then holds, he's got a comfortable cushion and you've got work to do, but. Break is on. This one to eight may have to go. Just look at Luke's demeanor on stage. The head shaking's returned. I know it's something that he's all. Oh, ho, ho. that'll do. The one to eight to save himself. He's beating himself up on the stream. We're level. Travel 18. Treble 18, double 10, and, and we get a big fist pump from Luke Humphreys as well. Doesn't give too much away normally. All right, it's on PDC TV. That was for a friend. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Nick, this is the final. This is the final. We know Lee. No, 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 not at all, Dylan. That was aimed at uh, a friend of mine who's watching who wants me to say hello to him, so I've just given him a middle finger instead. <laughs> Give him the finger. Big moments. Doesn't go. Bangs in the treble 16 last start is my guess. Have I been able to see that? I'll tell you in a second. Eight. eight. How the bloody hell has he only scored eight? I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> so your first question, he did bang in the treble 16 last dark day in offer. Now, how has Luke scored eight? So, he's gone for the ball first. Oh, oh. Yeah. So he's gone for the ball first, hit the little bit of the eight, going for the ball. Then he's tried to yeah. go double 17 outside, gone for double 17 again outside. Right. Oh, dear. Yes. Hello, Aston Villa. Come on, you villains. How are we doing? That was How are you? Hello, anybody's ever received in our chat room. Chance here. Two trouble visit. Piles the pressure on. It's enough, but it could have been better. Yeah. Especially when this is 130. Yeah. 
He's done it again. He's done it again. <laughs> Seven nineteen single treble eighteen. Double eight for Luke Humphreys for five each. And we are level. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I won't be reading that one out. No Kevin De Bruyne in the Man City side tonight, by the way. He starts on the bench. It's not a surprise with Pep, though, is it? He just does random things. That... He's crap, anyway. What, Pep or De Bruyne? Both. This needs to be big from Nopper. There's just a little bit of pressure being applied from Humphreys, and that's a mistake. That's a slip. Trip. Switch. Mm. Horrid leave as well, because even like 177 yeah. doesn't leave a one dar. I'm going Humphreys, David. The man's uh, a machine. You kind of the same answer. Oh, great. Cheers. Um, That's what I got there first. Yeah, um, I would have said Humphreys, but I'll go MVG, but I think Humphreys will. Your boy ain't even making the playoffs, mate. I'm telling you. Bigger collapse than when Spurs finished third in a two-horse race. That one hurt, didn't it? I could see the pain in your eyes. <laughs> Danny Nopper is edging closer to victory. Humphreys missed a huge opportunity to get the break. Didn't take it. Noppy steps in. That's big. That'll do. That can't be any, can't be any bigger. Tidy enough from Cool Hand. Steady. Back to back. Six all. Best of three from here. Can Noppy hold his nerve? Uh, Nico says, best album cover from the canvas behind you or tough one? <clears throat> it doesn't say cover, it just says best album. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of the covers. Um, I'm real torn. What's the story, morning glory? Where yeah, I think what, what's the story, but also a massive shout out to Master Plan as well. Are they actually on there? I'll just guess it. Yeah. yeah. I can't. It's, it's all the Oasis albums. All oh, right. All oh, right. Uh, 180 uh, from not Noppy, 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 Prime position. Uh, Joe is our oh, pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. For supporting us. Six starts for Noppy to go within one. 
Reel it in, Danny Reel boy. Cigarettes and alcohol? What am I? Yeah, Teresa, you know, incredible album. Loppy is one away. Humphreys will have to win back to back legs. And he starts with a 60. No, no. He's not going to get it done here and now. No, is the answer. Not after that response. Not on my watch, he says. Not on my watch. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. Rob, everything written about that kid right now is clickbait rubbish. Or 95%. Unless it comes from an official source, like onlinedarts.com. You know. Chance, you know. Luke, we're just a 44. Who are my favourite bands? Good question. Before Tom got rightly booted out, Kasabian. Noppy is poised here. Delicately. Oh, wide open. He shoots. The door he is stars. The door is ajar for Noppy. And he plays championship a champion. Champion. It's an hour and a half to two hours ago. Where I said Number at eight. this point yesterday, it's the finalists. The wrong way around. Yeah. I told you all this was happening two hours ago. Well done. We got one right each. I got it right yesterday. You got it right today. I also got the nine dart prediction right. So I'm the best. Thanks for coming. Anyway. That's all you need to um, know. Everyone, thank you very much for spending the last six hours with us here at Online Darts. That is another two players' championships in the can. Congratulations to our winner today, Danny Nopper, and yesterday's winner, Hollywood, Chris Doby. Um, there is a Euro Tour qualifier tomorrow. Um, we're not here to stream. We're both at the Super Series, but plenty of interviews coming up. The Fallout Bar will return on Thursday as well, and we may have a special little stream for you on Sunday evening. So stay tuned to all of our socials for that. Big thank you to Jar yesterday and of course Gob coming on the last two days as well. Everyone, we have been on Nine Darts. It's been an absolute pleasure as always and we'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!